all right guys let's get this party started a very very happy weekend to all of you for those of you guys in asia we are just kicking off a saturday and i couldn't think of a better way to do so than doing a little bit of some lo-fi chill with all of you big time and chill you know again it was absolutely crazy it was absolutely crazy what we saw last night uh again my huge thanks out to steve to all of the big time ogs as well as big time studios who decided to drop in uh with a with an ambush uh and all of a sudden my stream went absolutely nuts so you know again while i absolutely am very appreciative uh, of everything that's going on uh, at the same time, you know, one of the thing, one of the reasons why I like being on socials uh, is because I get to hang out with all of you guys, right? I get to hang out with all of you guys. I get to speak with you guys one to one, uh, and we get to, you know, talk a little about big time, talk a little about economy, economics, and talk a little bit about life, right? Uh, as we go about managing uh, the hundred and twenty plus Time Warden sweatshop. Uh, which is hard at work, 24 hours a day. Shout out to my time wardens. You guys are the real heroes. So guys, you know, I think there will come a time where I'm not able to do what I'm about to do, right? Simply because, you know, again, I, I've, I've been here before. Uh, and I say that in all humility because I'm always extremely grateful for people lending me their ears and lending me their eyes. Um, <clears throat> but... You know, no matter no matter what we do, I always want to express my thanks and gratitude for people who've supported the channel. Uh, we have quite a long list, and this might be the last time that I'm able to do this, but I do want to make sure that I'm giving a shout out to everyone that subscribed and everyone that followed uh, over the last, I want to say, 12 hours since I've been offline. So, 
guys if you're looking for some you know if you're looking for some die hard uh explosions uh you know uh, transformers uh stream today uh where you guys have like everything all over the place guys i'm an old man <laughs> i'm an old man it is saturday morning i do have two cups of coffee in front of me as long as well as two liters of water uh, and uh, we're just going to take it a little bit slow. We're going to take it a little bit easier today and just uh, make our way through the sweatshop, do a couple of things. You know, again, it, it's, um, this, is almost, this is almost like the uh, just chatting of the big time channel. So before I do that, and I'm going to take a deep breath before I do this, um, a special thanks out to Turgood TV who dropped so many gift subs yesterday. Guys, uh, if you are or are lucky enough to have gotten a subscriber role, uh, feel free to make sure you use those emotes and emojis. Uh, I spend a lot of time with my design team coming up with some pretty ideas. Uh, and in addition to that, you know, as, a, as the channel continues to grow, uh, you will have animated emojis coming in uh, very, very hot and very, very soon. So those are under review by Twitch right now, but they should be there pretty soon. And I've seen them. They're absolutely beautiful. Now, with that aside, <clears throat> thank you to Turgood TV, Grevenator, uh, for the subs. And then after that, Zephyrus, Chiklao, Sal the Greater, Kron, Clakey, with you pain, Kim 32Q, Chupiano, Zarbin, Phoenix, Valio, Dennis, Yu, Zongo 7K, Wilson RTM, Akam, Monarch, Happy Valley, Beacon, E Johnny, Jewel Novex, Grizzly, 64 World, K 1998, Joe 15, Vivid 235, Jonas Bot, Big Time Warriors, wow, absolutely honored, uh, The Rude 8, Oi. Uh, Steel City Slayer, Bindim, Bindim, bro. Thank you so much for the highlighted chat just now. What's up? What's up? Uh, Costume TV for giving me a shout out during your stream just now. Much appreciated. Uh, Maybu, Big Time Bulls Guild. Uh, where's the Big Time Bears Guild? Uh, Marrow Crypto, Jampol, Smoker Killer uh, for the immediate follow this very minute. Wimps, hey, first time here. What's this game? Dude. <laughs> oh, I'm the, I'm a first time player, dude. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure, but we can find out together. <laughs> Roge 1998 asking, hello, hello. When Time Warden Mystery Box live opening? Would love to see you open one on live. I think at the appropriate time, I would be more than happy to open up some mystery boxes. Again, the prices have gotten a little bit of out of control. Um, you know, and. And I take full responsibility, right? There was a point in time where it made so much sense to buy these uh, mystery Time Warden mystery boxes, right? Because what you unloaded out of the Time Warden mystery boxes at a minimum of a legendary essentially covered the cost uh, or the majority of the cost um, of, a, of, of, of the Time Wardens themselves. I think I was looking at maybe every single mystery box that I opened. I was only paying $1,000 for the RNG. Um, and a lot of the times when I was opening them, you know, occasionally, occasionally, I might have gotten, you know, two legendary, maybe two legendary boxes and a mythic, which again, at the end of the day, when you look at prices right now, really isn't that bad. Uh, but back then, you know, it was a loss of $1,000 to $2,000 on the RNG, right? Um, but, you know, now with the prices of Time Wardens themselves, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. Costume, costume TV, dude. Welcome. Thank you so much, my friend. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, dude? Thank you so much. Absolutely loved watching your stream. There are a couple of big time OGs out there who, you know, I was watching religiously and I actually do continue to watch religiously. Um, if you guys have not followed them yet, make sure that you do so. Uh, Custom TV actually has a beautiful, wonderful stream. He's one of the friendliest streamers. You know, whenever I need a, whenever I need a nice pickup, uh, during the day, there there are mainly two streamers that I watch for for that positivity, for that light, and that is Custom TV and Jyar. Right? Um, it's difficult enough to play the game 
while uh, to play the game with your full concentration, but it is even more difficult to play the game and to make sure that your audience has an interactive opportunity. Significantly easier for me because, you know, again, I'm just working through my, through my sweatshop, right? Um, but given that, Custom TV, thank you so much, my friend. I loved your stream earlier on today. Uh, again, what you guys are going to see here is something a little bit different, right? Which is we are going to go through a 127 space metaverse. The majority of those spaces are all above a mythic. Uh, and then after that, uh, I currently have about 132 Time Wardens and we are about to drop uh, I want to say another six, right? Uh, so despite the market where the market is, you know, I'm honored and grateful enough to be able to have the opportunity to still buy in this market. And the simple reason why is because there are two appro there's a several approaches to you know buying in the market, right? The first approach is you can just suck it up and buy it buy everything that you want anyway, right? If 10, 20, 30 dollars, you know, really isn't an issue. Um, you know, you can do that. And that really was what I was doing uh, probably about two weeks ago. You know, regardless of the price, you know, it's something that I wanted. $14,000 on a Transcendent, you know, $20,000 on a Transcendent. No worries. There are only 100 of them. I'm going to collect 8 to 10 of them, right? Uh, the other way that you could do it is... Um, the other way that you could do it uh, is basically if you watch Undisputable Noob's um, streams from last night. I mean, he went through a lot of information. He went, he, dude, dude, kudos to you, Steve. I mean, I, I really enjoyed that stream. You know, I was eating my I was eating my Mickey D's. I had my Big Mac. I had my six chicken nuggets there. And I had you actually blast it up on my meeting room screen projector uh, as I was watching you do TA on a utility token. <laughs> I really, really did enjoy that. Again, I'm, we're, we're, this, this stream tends to be a tiny bit different. Uh, I'm a little bit more of a nerd than most people. Custom TV, thank you so much for the stuff, my friend. You're such a friendly guy. I really cannot wait to the point where, you know, I, I get to, you know, shake all of your hands and say, you know, thank you so much for everything that you've done uh, for this community, for this game. Anissa 2014, welcome to the chat, my friend. Thank you for the follow. Um, so essentially what, uh, you know, again, it was a wonderful stream last night with Undisputable. There's so many things to analyze within the game if you're looking to be some form of a merchant, right? Uh, you could be crafting Time Wardens like myself. You could be buying and holding spaces for capital appreciation. Uh, you could be doing TA, right? And again, you know, to Undisputable Noob's point, uh, you know, TA really doesn't work well on a utility token given that utility is the main purpose of how these things work, right? Uh, <laughs> this new news meet up in London. Bro, I was actually in Oxford. I was actually in Oxford from, I was actually in Oxford from um, uh, August all the way till I came back and they launched the economy. So I was actually uh, in Headington, uh, if, you, if, if, you, if you know that area. I was actually in Headington for quite a while. So I do, I do tend to spend, you know, a couple of months in different countries every single year. Right now, <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Right now, being based out of Southeast Asia. So right now, being uh, being based out of Southeast Asia, beautiful country. Uh, I might drop a, I might drop a little bit more of a wink, wink uh, at some point in time. But very, very tied to the UK. Very tied to the UK. So thank you guys so much uh, for all of the follows as well as all the subs. You know, let's we've done house cleaning, right? I mean, no matter how how big we get, you know, I I, I do want to make sure that I'm giving a huge thanks out to all of the followers, all of the subs. Um, but at the same time, you know, housekeeping also involves talking about what we're going to do today. And so we are going to keep this relatively chill. Um, it went absolutely gangbusters last night. I didn't expect it. This wasn't planned, right? It was not planned. Um, and, you know, I've only been streaming for five days, right? I've only been streaming for five days. So, you know, I hope you guys can bear with me. Um, as you can see, you know, with the uh, with the notifications coming up over my face, um, that really was a problem yesterday, <laughs> where people weren't able to see the gameplay. John BS, bro, thank you so much, not only for the follow but also for the raid. Uh, very, very much appreciated, and welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody, to everybody who has just entered in. It is 10:43 in Southeast Asia. We're going to do a little bit of big time and chill. I know you guys are used to me having a lot more energy. 
uh, but the adrenaline did not kick down last night, uh, so it was a little bit of uh, it was a little bit of a restless night. But given that, I love what I do. I love the game and I love the community. So you know that's why I'm up bright and early with two cups of coffee. And you know we're really going to do just some big time and chill. Now while we do that. Um, the second thing I'm going to say is that if you guys have any questions within the group about big time, about, uh, I want to say about uh, time crafting, um, or about Web3 or life in general, right? I, I'm old enough, sorry, I'm not lucky enough, but I'm old enough to um, have a lot of experience in life. Uh, I'd be more than happy to answer those questions. And we do have a lot of OGs, as well as a lot of experts in chat, right? Big Time reminds me very much of the early 2019 NFT community. You know, you guys are all extremely early. We're still in early alpha. You know, I know that some of the server issues hurt, but understand that we are early. It's not about tomorrow. It's not about next week. It really is about what happens, you know, two, three, four, five, six months from now, right? But if you put your nose to a grind, this whale has put his nose to the grind. I know that it can be extremely beneficial, not only for Web3 as a whole, uh, but also for all of you individually as you guys learn how to work in this very, very new Web3 gaming community. All right. So given that this is going to be the itinerary for what we do today, I am going to be, uh, you know, depending on chat, I might be a little bit less chatty than usual, given that, you know, I'm just playing some lo-fi music. We're going to chill in my metaverse. We're going to do a lot of work with the sweatshop. Um, but again, uh, you know, you guys can keep me chatty by chatting in chat. Uh, if I do not see it, given that we have 93 viewers tuned in, uh, you can definitely use your ambergris or your, t or your uh, channel points to highlight that. <laughs> Give, uh, uh, to highlight that, and I should be able to see that. Thank you, Princeton Max, for the follow. John BS, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm honored and flattered, but at the end of the day, John BS, you want to be you. You want to be you. You want to be the best version of you every single day, uh, and you are the best version of you today. So um, again, uh, I'm not here. I'm, I'm, I'm not here to be, uh, to be, I don't want to say, I, I am here to be a role model, right? Uh, so I do want to make sure that I am um, prescribing and showing the right values, right, uh, as a merchant. Uh, but at the same time, all of you guys really do just want to be you and the best version of you. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hop into game. Uh, I did actually hop into game earlier on today. Uh, it was a lot smoother for me. It was a lot smoother for me. And I, I did see some people saying that it, it doesn't, it, it's not as smooth um, in, in the Discord. But for me, it was working. So we're just going to have to test this out and see. Uh, guys, I do have my game on full screen. And we are naked and afraid and weaponless and running around with an invisible pole. All right, uh, so we will wait for this thing to load. <laughs> um, we will wait for this thing to load, and then we will hop into the metaverse. I'm always worried about getting kicked out, so I'll run around a bit in my boxers. I wonder if I can use my emotes. Oh, we can. Oh, there you go. A little bit of a breakdance for the, for the stream. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I think that's a little bit of a capoeira there as well. All right, <laughs> nerd logic sounds a little kinky. <laughs> I'm a mime, dude. It, it, I'm, I'm a perpetual mime here, dude. Where's my in the box? Where's my in the box? Hold on one second. Let's 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 uh, let's find that while we're waiting for the things to load because I am unable. I am unable to. Um, I am unable to. Uh, one second, guys. Here. I'm not able to uh, do anything unless my time crystals load. Dude, where's the box? This, got, this has got to be like my favorite. Did that work? Uh, let's see. Uh, no, I don't think it did. So I think we're still waiting for this to load. And then after that, uh, we're going to go manage a time factory. And I, I swear to God, I did not do that. Um, it looks like I am psychologically tied uh, to my character, uh, weeping absolutely weeping just waiting to be able to let in okay so what we can do is we can try enter in anyway and then let's see if it loads on the uh in the metaverse itself again i had no problems doing this just now when i went in but let's let's take a look and see hold on one guy one second guys thanks so much for letting me know there we go there we go <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> Undisputed News saying, oh my god, I can see your browsing history. <laughs> Did you not know that I was setting up a new big time porn community, dude? <laughs> fan art, fan art. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I do tend to make. I, I, I only wore this. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. So your so your community wiki is actually is actually codenamed only wardens, huh? <laughs> But given how much I show bare skin in the game all the time, I don't think I'd earn that much money anyway. <laughs> all right, this is loading in. This is loading in. I spared all of you the sight of my character in his boxers as he was breakdancing, so <laughs> I think that's a good thing to begin with. Anyway, we'll do, we'll do a breakdance once we get in there. Again, we do want this thing to load. I think... I think um, I think uh, I think the main issue here is uh, you know if I do break dance while the game is loading, my time crystals don't really load that much. So uh, we are going to take it a little bit easy. Yep, up, 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 up. We are fully closed. We are fully closed. I'm showing a tiny bit of that midriff there, uh, but uh, looks sexy. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to move left and move right just so I can make sure that. Uh, up, oh, little tippy toe, little tippy toe. Uh, so, uh, so let's wait for these time crystals to load. At the same time, I think we do have a bunch that we need to collect. Um, usually, you know, again, if it doesn't load in about one to two minutes, we're going to have to exit the server and come in again. Um, and then, because I think you guys can see, this is essentially the the factory, right? The factory. So I do want to answer a question from a subscriber last night that they had in uh, in Undisputed Noob's um, epic epic stream. And that was why, why did an OG NFT whale decide to go so hard at a game, at a Web3 game like Big Time, right? Um, it's it's pre-alpha, uh, you know, there's still a lot of kinks to be worked out, you know, there's no guarantee, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of competition out there, right? Web3 gaming has really blown up. And the way that I look at it, and again, guys, I'm sorry to bore you, uh, you know, while waiting for the Time Wardens, right? Um, so I'll, I'll move around a bit and hopefully we are going to get, uh, we are going to be able to uh, get our time crystals in there. If not, we are going to exit in one minute after I answer this question. Um, but essentially, look, whenever, I've been, I've been in the space since 2012, right? My, I bought my very first Bitcoin in 2012, bought my very first Ethereum in 2015, 2016, and I bought my very first NFTs in 2019. Now, back in the day in 2019, nobody knew that NFTs were gonna be able to amount to anything, right? Nobody had NFTs, nobody wanted to buy NFTs. The price of paying gas uh, was actually more expensive uh, than purchasing the NFT themselves, right? But you know, one of the things that I've always looked at is, again, not only being an analyst, but also being hopefully, hopefully uh, optimistic about the technology and progress of humankind. So, you know, I think we're going to exit and we are going to try a uh, change server. All right. So let's return to lobby. So why, why are the main reasons why I decided to invest? And let's stop calling it investing, guys, right? It's a game. Uh, let's say, why did I decide to spend half a million US dollars on a Web3 game? Now, the main reason is as follows. So the first thing, let's talk about the macro factors. So the macro factors are, is that, you know, what, NFTs are not going anywhere. Crypto doesn't seem to be going anywhere, right? Uh, I, I mean, doesn't go anywhere means it's not going to disappear, right? Um, you know. If anything at all, I would say NFTs are actually more applicable uh, to the progress of humankind than crypto is, right? I understand that you have a lot of Bitcoin maxis, you got a lot of ETH maxis saying, you know, it's about decentralized ownership of your currency, the ability to send it wherever you want, and the, ab the ability, um, you know, to really have custody of your of your finances. I get that, right? But you know, when you think about it on a on a logical basis, you know, crypto is only better money, right? At the end of the day, it's just better money. Uh, when you look at decentralized finance, you know, can we live with can we live without crypto? Uh, Oh, shoot. Uh, I think it hung. But anyway, let's give it two seconds here. 
Hopefully I haven't hung. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice. So crypto is just better money, right? It is better money. I fully agree with it. I have a, I have some of my wealth in crypto, um, but you know it's just better money. And then when you look at DeFi or decentralized finance, could we live without DeFi? Yeah, absolutely. It's not indispensable, right? Uh, because we have a, we have a structure in place today. Now, is that structure inefficient? Uh, does it does it you know suck balls? Absolutely. Right. Decentralized finance is a so much, you know, much more transparent and efficient way to do things. Now, what are NFTs? NFTs are the sole and only way to be able to distribute digital assets in a digital world. We all live in the metaverse today, right? And the one thing is, besides NFTs or non-fungible technology, there is no way to provide ownership, scarcity, and provenance to digital assets, right? So, you know, while number one, crypto, and number two, DeFi, um, are important, right? And they are game changers. They are not essential, right? And I, I apologize again for those of you who are full-on maxis. I understand. Um, but they are not indispensable. Now, when it comes to NFTs, everyone's playing games. Uh, everyone is, uh, you know, you know, everyone is, everyone is hoarding digital assets. You know, this is really, again, uh, the only way that we're going to be able to see the growth as people move into virtual reality um, and Web three and Web four as we move forward. So, you know, that's the first reason why you know I'm bullish on NFTs as a whole. The second, reason, the second reason why I absolutely, I, I went into big time is because, again, we are looking, when you look at crypto or when you look at blockchain, and hopefully my time crystals will load like they did um, in-game just now, uh, but we will wait a tiny bit. Um, you know, when you look at crypto as a whole, you know, we re usually go through two-year bear cycles and a one-year bull cycle. You know, forget the TA, forget the macroeconomic analysis. You know, all of the macroeconomists got crypto and, and the bull and bear run wrong, right? And keep that, keep that, keep that thought um, with you as you guys move through the bull and bear runs. The smartest people on the planet got the length of the bull and the bear run wrong. Uh, in 2021 and 2022, right? The only thing that has proven to be accurate has been that we always run through a two-year cycle, two-year bear, one-year bull, right? Now, given that, uh, we've almost approached the, and dude, hopefully this will load. I would hate to go out again. Um, you know, I, you know we, we are approaching the end or the cyclical end of a bear cycle in December, right? Yay! So, you know, again, it, it's, a, it's an ample opportunity and a good opportunity uh, to come into the space at this point in time. Now, again, everything that I do say are my opinions and my opinions only. Uh, so please, please, please do not take my word as gospel, right? And I'm sure you guys are smart enough not to. Um, but, you know, again, we're approaching the end of a bear market. So, you know, again, you think about, you know, what happens with NFTs. Now, my experience has taught me that you know when nfts you know pop or they boom they're usually led by a certain industry and you know and what you see is you see minor bubbles of successes right prior to the start of a bull run now you know when i look at the space when i look at the space yeah let's look at some of the major let's look at some of the oh dude is this not even working any street uh chat do you guys have any advice in terms of how i can get these big time crystals to load what we can do is we can just, uh, let's see here. Let, let, we can, why don't we take a look and see what we have to collect and what we have to do today? Because I, I do think we have quite a bit to do. But anyway, what we do see, so we've got two Transcendent Time Wardens. All right. Um, we got a bunch of exotics uh, that need to be, that, oh, we, oh dear. This is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be a longer than expected stream, guys. Um, <laughs> All right, so yeah. Um, so anyway, what you do see is you see pockets of activity, pockets of growth, right? Before you see the main growth buster. And you know, when you look at the different asset classes, right? Uh, and I hate to call NFTs an industry, but uh, when you see the different asset classes of what's you know bubbling up in NFTs, I mean, you have gaming, you have PFPs, you have digital art. Um, you have digital photography, you have real estate, and you have music, right? Real estate, I refer to metaverse, and this is kind of uh, part of metaverse. Oh, guys, we're gonna we're gonna be working the switch up hard tonight, to this morning, um, but my time crystals still aren't here, so we're gonna have to do that one more time. Um, 
if we do if we are not able to get our time crystals what we will do during the stream is we will collect you know all of the hourglasses um, and hopefully at some point in time this thing is going to reinvigorate and I will be able to have, to have my time crystals all right uh, Binif says this full collection bottom left refresh industry Let, let's try that and see uh, it didn't work for me earlier on but let's see if this works uh, so let's see if we're going bottom left refresh bottom left bottom left uh, full collection. Uh, let's see, reconnect and go to a low pop server. All right, don't worry. Uh, what we will do, so I don't have a refresh in this, uh, inventory over here. Oh, full collection, sorry about that. Bindim, you're absolutely right. Let me refresh industry and let me see. Let's see this. And we'll refresh a few times, right? Let's refresh a few times until we see whether or not this works. It didn't work for me yesterday. I thought it would, I actually thought that that uh, it would work, um, but I tried it yesterday as well. I, I wasn't able to get uh, what I hoped I would, but let's try. We'll try and see. But anyway, um, just on thought process. So essentially, what we do see is we see pockets of activity that grow. You know, moving forward. I've been away from the space for roughly about twelve months, uh, just getting some uh, good headspace and being able to remove myself from the toxicity or the toxic land that NFT land has become, uh, which is why you guys no longer see me on Twitter. Uh, despite a 92,000 follower uh, account. Um, you know, at the end of the day, the, the, the main growth that I've seen has been in Web3 Gaming. Uh, you have amazing things coming out from Big Time Studios, from Open Loot, um, you know, amazing things coming out from Immutable. Uh, I personally, and I know that Steve is the same way, can't wait to play Shrapnel. Um, you know, that, that maturity rate has been significantly high. So, you know, my understanding and my belief, uh, again, do your own research, not financial advice, not regulatory advice. Um, one second. Worked with the game in the past, and this is why we never push updates on Friday. If it's broken, you have to work with the weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Well, pop to the marketplace, check a space. It tells you a timer when CHG resets. All right. Uh, let me see here. So we'll do that as well. But usually the way that I'm able to do this is essentially just by logging into a low pop server. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not as I'm not as sophisticated uh, as as uh, as most people. So I I, I kiss right. I, I keep it simple. Um, but let's do that. Let's um let's move out to the uh, let's move out move out to the lobby. Let's move to a low pop server and let's jump in straight away so that it doesn't have to double load. Doesn't have to double pump. Let's 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 get to a low pop server so we don't have to double load, um, and then we'll pop straight into the personal metaverse. And hopefully, uh, we are going to be able to get what we need um, with that. The other thing that I do, and guys, just a, just a, one of my tiny little secrets is that I actually do find that the North American servers work significantly better than any of the servers in Asia. Right? Uh, not shitting on the Asian servers, right? Asian servers are always good, but you know, again, when I find that things don't work, uh, even though I have a relatively high ping, um, basically what I do is I go to one of the, I go to one of the North American servers and try to colonize that instead. Um, but anyway, let's hop across to LA. Love LA, love San Diego, love California. Uh, but let's hop across there and let's see if that works out. All right. <laughs> Yeah, Arthur, I mean, I think I think we're all realizing the same thing. I mean, there was a point in time two weeks ago where I could never er and where I could never open my personal metaverse, right? Um, in any of the Asian servers. Oh, dude, did I just go like full on butt ass naked just now? Anyway, um, enter entering portal. <laughs> Mr. Nice asking me, are you on cocaine? No, but every two days we do pick up rocks uh, from the space itself, from the space itself. No, I, I do not do, I do not, I do not do any cocaine whatsoever. <laughs> I, you know, just a, just a personal point, you know, the, the highest I've ever gone up the drug chain is, is weed, right? I have stories from Amsterdam where I find myself in a different country two days later. Um, ahem, ahem. But anyway, um, don't, do, don't do drugs anymore. Way too old to do drugs. I um, uh, haven't touched a drop of liquor probably in about two, probably in about a year now. Uh, have, I just have no interest. I just have no interest because, again, you know, I, I think it's good for, uh, I think, again, recreational drugs, right? Those that are legal, you know, might, and alcohol in, mod, in, in moderation, uh, might be good for people sometimes to just get away from like the grind of life, right? But for me, you know, 
I don't know if you guys can tell, uh, I'm relatively old. I am relatively old. Uh, probably old enough to be some of your fathers. <laughs> whale daddy, whale shark, that's the D, right? Old enough to probably be some of your fathers. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, I, I've lived life long enough to understand that, you know, there's really no point in being frustrated with life. It really is good to just chill and be content because at the end of the day, happiness doesn't stem from getting more. Uh, it stems from being content with what you have, right? And I have no... Um, I don't have any I don't have any want to escape the life that I have right now all right uh, so yeah that's why that's why I don't have any I don't have any uh, I don't have any addictions or vices uh, that require an escape right <laughs> Savage Studios can't wait to hear the story dude I swear to God uh, I've been, you know, when I was younger, I, 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 I was, um, I, I have some stories. I have some stories. Life experiences would not do them again. Do it once, but you know, again, after that, you uh, wipe your hands clean. All right, guys. Do not worry if we aren't able to get to uh, to get to the crafting aspect uh, of the game. You know, it's it's kind of funny because we were able to we were able to see the. Uh, time crystals in the main game, just not able to see them in my personal metaverse right now. Uh, but don't worry, if we aren't able to find them, what we'll do is we'll just run around, I'll give you guys a tour uh, of the meta of my personal metaverse, because I don't think we were able to do that yesterday that much, uh, given the fact that I was racing to get to marbles. Uh, will we hold marbles today? Absolutely. I do want to make sure that today, though, uh, just this marble session in the morning, uh, we will only hold one marble session for subscribers. Uh, and then after that, tonight, uh, tonight we will do a double session and we will hold marbles for both followers and subscribers. All right. So if you guys don't know, uh, basically what I do and dude, it doesn't seem to be loading North America, letting me down. Uh, let's ex So what we can do is this Hold on one second. Let's, let's try refresh. Let's refresh. Let's refresh collection. <laughs> So also, Mr. Nice, one of the reasons why I don't stop talking uh, is not because I'm an extrovert either, right? The reason is because I'm a trained ambivert, right? I'm, if, you, if I take the uh, personality test, I am always an introvert on the extreme sale, on the extreme side. Uh, but I'm a trained ambivert, and one of the things that introverts hate most than anything at all is the awkwardness of uh, silence, right? Is the awkwardness of silence, particularly when you have so many people watching. So, you know, it, my ambivert side tends to compensate for the introvert. Uh, that's probably why I talk so much on stream. <laughs> Uh, awesome. I can only catch you morning stream at the moment. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. You know, again, I, I do wish that all of you guys do have a chance to participate in this. Um, you know, again, at the end of the day, uh, I want to make sure that you guys are rewarded for hanging out with me, for doing some awesome shit together. So we're actually are going to do that. But as you guys can see, I do think we have a bug uh, where we might not be able to access time crystals. And that's quite a shame because we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of time wardens running at the moment. Um, let's try one. So let's try, let's try two things. Let's try, no, let's try two, let's try two things. So let's try to hop into two more servers and the ambivert in me or the overcompensated uh, extrovert in me will try to keep you entertained with chit chat. Um, but why don't we try to hop into two more servers and we can see if we can get this done. All right, so we're going to return to lobby. <laughs> Crevenator saying, I want to see you cut something off with that sword. Oh, apparently I've been cutting people's balls off uh, with marbles every end of stream, buddy. So uh, you should, I, I know that you saw that yesterday, but you should join in for that. <laughs> Mad amount of castration. All right, so we're going to go, I don't want to go to New York. Uh, let's go to, let's go to Hong Kong. Let's go to Hong Kong. Let's go to India. <laughs> Uh, if, you, if you guys have been to Hong Kong and you guys have been to TST, that sometimes kind of does look like India. Um, India and Pakistan. <laughs> Amazing Indian food, by the way. The very best Indian food that I've ever had in my life has not been in India. The very best Indian food that I've ever had in my life uh, is in Hong Kong uh, and in London, actually. <laughs> the homeland, London. Merlin the Alchemist, thank you so much, my friend. I very much appreciate the, the, the voice of support there. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop in before it loads, so hopefully it loads us when I get into the metaverse. 
<laughs> Steve saying, devs, do something before he starts looking at the marketplace. Buddy, I'm way ahead of you. I actually bought shit already. Sorry, I, I like, again, okay, so, sorry, uh, my, 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 my stream of thought tends to pull me in like 10 different directions. Uh, so, uh, another two personal facts about me. Uh, I am dyslexic. Uh, I am dyslexic and I do have ADD. Um, you know, the only reason why I'm able to focus barely, right, uh, is because, you know, I, I grew up in an Asian education system where they, they try to beat the ADD out of you. Uh, so that's why my stream of thought is all over the place. So I know that I have two topics that I haven't finished covering yet. Um, the first topic is, you know, what is the other way to do it in the marketplace, right? Uh, so we just got kicked from a server. Oh, Gravenator, I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. Again, it's a work in progress. I know it's difficult, but you know, again, do make sure that you stick to it. It's going to get better. So anyway, um, from a from a how do you, how do I do the marketplace? You know, again, I'm lucky enough to be in a situation where I can buy if I want, right? But at this point in time, where there's such you know escalated values in the market, I DCA, right? Most people will talk to you about most people will talk to you about DCAing. Um, into um, DCing into uh, into into you know commodities right or, or stocks or, or whatever or whatever that is right. I buy bit by bit right. So I bought twelve time wardens yesterday at three hundred and seventy to four hundred. I bought another six time wardens this morning uh, between the prices, and I bought actually the time warden mystery boxes. Whoa, yo, yo, yo! I think we have a visitor. Was that a visitor? Yo, what's up, my friend? <laughs> hey, Tinsura, how are you doing? How are you getting here? <laughs> um, so anyway, so I DCA in. I dollar cost average, right? I dollar cost average in. Um, hopefully our time crystals are gonna are gonna come out. If not, what we'll do is we'll just collect everything, we'll chit chat a tiny bit, and I'll run some marbles given that we're gonna stream probably for about an hour. Um, but anyway, but anyway, I DCA in. So essentially with the market so high right now, I'll probably buy maybe five or six. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, guys. I see it loading. I see it loading. There we go. All right. We are off to the races. Big map coming up. Oh, dude, that's pretty sweet. They put the big map in the center now? Anyway. Or is my, or is my, or is my thing just, is my thingy just so big that, that, that it covers the center of the screen? All right. Let's go, guys. Let's fucking go. So, anyway. Uh, I DCA in, I buy, depending on the market, I might buy anywhere between five to six. Oh, dude, sorry, process, process, process. We need to collect all of the hourglasses first because I want to use the transcendence uh, to do the majority of the, um, I want to use the transcendence to do the majority of the, of the upper level crafting. So we're going to collect first. We're going to collect first and after that we're going to do what we're going to do. What's up, Paris Lago? What's going on? All right, let's do this, guys. Heading in there, heading to the exotics. Uh, I have about eight transcendents, and based on this, I have about six exotics. Right, uh, the bulk of my the bulk of my stuff comes from the mythics and the legendaries. So DCA in, guys. I mean, if you are, if you don't know, if you if there is ambiguity in the market, and there is ambiguity in the market right now, what you want to do is you want to DCA in rather than. Uh, in my personal opinion, right? You want to DCA in rather than waiting, rather than um, rather than you know just buying everything and blowing your load at once, right? Because the thing is, at the end of the day, and can I close? Yeah, I can close. All right. At the end of the day, you know you don't want to be stuck in a situation where <laughs> all of a sudden we see six hundred dollar time wardens, right? That's not what we want to see. Uh, but at least if you DCA in, you know your average price is going to be lower than the price that it that it peaks at. At the same time, you know I know that we don't want to see two hundred. We don't want to see like. Yeah, hundred hundred dollar level time orders. I'd love to see that, by the way. I'd buy all of them. Um, but uh, you know, again, you don't want to be caught, you know, buying time wardens at four hundred dollars. So DCA means dollar cost average. It means if you're gonna buy ten time wardens, buy one a day and average your price down. Um, all right. How give how um, how give how you spend most of your time in metaverse and not in a party? It might be a good idea to put the chat on the left side so that we can see the map better. Absolutely. So why don't I do that right now? Sorry, guys. One second. One second. Uh, and guys, by the way, I don't use OBS. I actually use a different... Um, I'm going to put it over my head. One second here, guys. 
There we go. How does that look? How does that look, chat? I'll put it over my head. Get a forex, dude. I would love to get a forex as well. So we're just setting off the exotics for the time being, and I do apologize. This stream is for those of you fresh coming in. You guys have a lot of, uh, you guys do have a lot of OG streamers who show you the hack and slash. Uh, I'm too old for the hack and slash, my friends. So basically, what I do is I hang out with all of you and manage a sweatshop, right? Uh, whether or not that might be interesting to some of you, I hope it is. Um, but you know, again, always a lot of chit chat. Costume TV, thank you so much for the subs, my friend. I very much appreciate it. Costume TV, dude, you're a legend, dude. And again, I always love the positivity that you bring to stream. You know, there are some streamers where you go in and, you know, I'm probably one of these where you go in and you come out and then you're like, what the fuck just happened? Uh, and then there are streamers who you go in and after that you come out, you know, in, in a such a much better mood. Uh, than before. Costume TV and Jire are two of those, right? Always coming out with a lot more positivity and light after leaving their streams. Dude, thank you so much, but I'm probably more on the lines of people come in here and then they're saying, what the fuck, he's not playing the game. <laughs> uh, I saw that. I saw that on a comment on X. I got to stop using X, guys. Again, I saw that on a comment on X. I think someone said something like, but he's not even playing the game. Guys, at the end of the day, everyone is going to play this game in the way that they want to play it. This is the way that I choose to play the game, right? Um, but you know, there are many different ways to play the game. I hope they do add gameplay for merchants and after that you'll see me actually more in real world, right? Um, but there's no fixed way that someone wants to enjoy themselves in game. But this is also the other reason I said I'd answer this. I would talk about it later on, but this is also the reason why I exited X. Dude, please, God, do not hang. No, <laughs> no. Guys, I'm running a 4080, so I, I'm running an RTX 4080, so I swear to God. Nope, there we go, there we go. All right, let's reroll again. Um, I'm running an RTX 4080, so I swear to God this isn't my fault. RTX 4080 plus uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I swear to God, this is not, it's not my fault. Um, yeah, you guys are like, stop spending, stop spending so much money on Time Wardens and buy a proper computer. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, you know, at the end of the day, the reason why I left X, and I know that NFT land exists on X, is just so fucking toxic. Um, so I know that there are a lot of influencers who've reached, you know, again, big time influencers who've reached 10,000, 20,000 followers. Um, you know, again, I was lucky to lead that bull run, right, in 2021. Um, and, you know, I accumulated organically, right? I can tell you that the majority, dude, quad left, quad left, quad left. Are, are we going to get a free hourglass? <laughs> okay, so we have a tradition on stream. The tradition on stream is that when we get a quad left, chat, chat, chat. What's what's the tradition? What's the tradition? <laughs> Arrows Largo saying, yeah, 4X. All right, so NBA in the front, DJ in the back. We are an NFT mullet here. Uh, so what we are going to do is we're going to hold the quad left. And essentially, we're going to pay Big Time Studios our due respects, and we're going to roll for 10. All right, we're going to roll for 10. We're going to roll for 10. Now, what's the purpose of rolling for 10? The purpose of rolling for 10 is we're trying to get a free hourglass. All right? Uh, instant hourglass, Savage, I wish I could do it, but we're going to try. But the thing is, you cannot purple multiply. Gold bonuses are not affected by multipliers. So we need to get something less than a gold. Now, what we absolutely don't want is a quad left and a quad right. I mean, I, I would I would I would most likely slap myself on the head if that does happen. But uh, why don't we go for 10? Uh, number one. Don't do it. <laughs> dude, dude. Guys, I hate myself. Dude, can someone clip that? Can someone clip that? Can someone clip that, please? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Isn't this something that we wanted? This is everything that we wanted. This is everything that we wanted. Dude, Savage. Dude, Big Time Studios. Um... <laughs> Guys, I, uh, you know, I, I'll, <laughs> dude, that is so goddamn beautiful, man. Wow. 
Dude, someone mint that as an NFT and put it up on your wall. <laughs> Dude, I think that's a stream first. That is absolutely a stream first. Quad left, 25% faster, but times four, no multiple golds, my friend. Absolutely. Which is why, which is why we're going to have to, uh, which is why we're going to have to say goodbye to this wonderful spin. Um, I, I'm going to cry. I'm absolutely going to cry. <laughs> oh, dude, I just need it. Don't worry. We've hit this before. Should I let it cook? Uh, times four, no multiples. Gold, no multiples. Um, wow. I, it's just so beautiful. And I've never seen this before, right? I've never seen this before. Fuck you, Lang. <laughs> I actually have. And sorry, Lang said test it, right? Dude, shall we test it for science? Should we, should we test it for science to see if it's bugged? Has anyone, has anyone done this before? Is, is this for science? Is this for big time? Should we do it, guys? Again, it's, it's a common hourglass craft. I don't mind. EXP is better. We should do it for science, right? Let's do it for the science. <laughs> for the science. All right, continue. Chat, we're going to do it for the science. Instant hourglass coming out. Never. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, that's interesting. So it's usually a two-day craft, right? It's for the science. All right, guys. So now we know that if you get a twenty-five, if you get a twenty-five percent reduction um, in uh, in crafting time, and you get a four X in that, so that's a hundred percent. Essentially, what it does is it cuts the crafting time in half instead. Uh, wait, is that 10 hours? So it usually takes 48 hours. 10 hours is 25%. Yes, so it cuts like 75%. Oh, that's fucking cool. Oh, dude, that was awesome. All right. Glad that we did that for science and glad that we didn't get R-U-G-G-E-D. Wonderful that we didn't get rugged on that. Anyway, uh, it was a common hourglass. More than happy to do that. Uh, now I know that if we do craft like an epic, I'm going to do the same thing again. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fun, guys. First time on stream, first time on Twitch. You see someone get a free hourglass and get 75%. That's beautiful. Imagine skip rarity. Would you get four tiers? Uh, I don't know, man. Why don't we try and see? <laughs> For the science. <laughs> Oh, don't don't worry, Custom TV. The the amount of luck that you're going to get from doing that is that is the very first time that I've ever done that. Uh, after doing, uh, after spending probably about fifty thousand, I don't say fifty thousand more chips, dude. I I have a problem. Uh, I do have a problem. Uh, but after spending probably about twenty thousand mod chips, that's the very first time I've ever done that. All right, so I think that's far and few between. The reason why I was so unwilling to get off that stream uh, or get off that screen is because that's the one thing that I've wanted to do for such a long time. Um, the chat knows it. I've been trying to do it from day one. Uh, oh, really, dude? I have not gotten that before. I, maybe you have better RNG than I do. I bought so many mod chips. I swear to God, everything that I, uh, everything that I earn, it goes straight. Uh, not that I've earned anything, right? Oh, are we going to do it again? Dude, you're kidding me, right? No, all right, stream, what do we do? What do we do? We're gonna hold the 25% faster, and then after that, we're gonna, street, we're gonna spin for a multiplier. <laughs> Is this for the science, guys? Are we, are we doing this for the science? Aris Lago, dude, you are an enabler. I swear to God, you're the type of guy who's, who enables me, and then after that, when you guys have to have an intervention, you're the one who's gonna lead the intervention, dude. I swear to God, just kidding, but you're that asshole. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna reroll here, dude. You guys want me to give up this? Are, are we gonna take it? Are we gonna are we gonna roll for a multiplier? All right, chat. What are we doing? <laughs> are we gonna are we gonna take it and leave? And uh, again, are we gonna know know when to hold them and know when to fold them, or are we uh, are we are we going off with the uh, are we going with the fifty? We're gonna roll. <laughs> I bought a bunch. I don't think it. Um, I don't think it worked though. All right, we're gonna roll. We're gonna roll. We're gonna. We're gonna roll five for two golds. All right. 
if we don't have any more mod chips, um, if we're gonna, if we don't have any more mod chips, we do have to be a little bit more cautious. Is that a gold? Is that skip rarity? Nope, nope, nope. Costume TV, have you ever been able to get two golds? I have not done that yet either. You know, I got, I've gotten a lot of funky shit, but I have never gotten two goals yet. <sighs> Guys, five times. Looks like we are going to have to go for the 50%. Um, again, I tried to buy a bunch of mod chips. Why don't we do that? Hold on one second here, guys. Uh, please don't hang my... Please don't hang it. Uh, hold on one second. Let's, so let's buy a couple of mod chips. Let's just confirm. So I bought one. It's deducting my cash, right? It's deducting my cash. Uh, yes, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, love it. No, so we spent uh, we spent six thousand uh, sixty thousand time crystals buying mod chips. Let's see if let's see if we get them. Hold on one second here. If not, big time owes me some big money. <laughs> Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let's let's see if it works, dude. I don't know if it works because I bought a couple, but they never hit my account. Um, but we will know pretty soon, my friend. We will know pretty soon. We're gonna make sure that we level up all of the time wardens. And again, I'm saving a lot of these rare hourglasses so we can craft them on my transcendent. Oh God, please, no. <laughs> Give it a tiny bit of time. Give it a tiny bit of time. Level up. No. There we go. All right. Cool. Okay, so again, guys, don't be, oh, wow. We, I think this is my, how many epics do we have right now? So we have three epics. I think I have like two epics under craft at the moment. So we get, this is really crafting our fifth epic, but we're gonna do this under transcendent, right? So we'll do that later. You guys can see me craft an epic and go full balls out on the RNG. Because again, when you're going at such a high level, uh, oh dude, yeah, 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 yeah. You are able to buy more chips, right? We're rolling in the dough. All right. So when you are able, uh, when you are using your higher level time wardens, the thing that you want to do is you want to craft the highest, um, the highest uh, rarity whatsoever, and you want to get the best bonuses, right? Uh, that's just a general rule. You know, I'm journeying on to at, uh, on to the unique hourglass, um, which is the title um, of the stream. So what's what is essential at this point in time is getting enough exp. First legendary, probably the craft will happen tomorrow. I think the craft will probably happen tomorrow, the day after, and then after that, I will craft the very first legendary. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna take the sixty percent. You know, in a minimum, I want to have sixty percent, right? Uh, if I see the RNG, it really isn't working in my favor. At a minimum, I want to have that sixty percent. A hundred percent is ideal, and if we do get a multiplier plus a fifty percent, where we're looking at you know two hundred percent, you know that's the point in time where I hold a rave inside my office as I'm doing this, all right? It's all about the EXP, baby. I know that you guys, I know that, that people who are selling on the market uh, might be looking for additional time, but for me, it is mainly and truly about the EXP. No two golds yet. Keep so close, almost got it, but it teased. Time crystals from mod chips. Dude, the entire game teases me all the time. <laughs> so don't feel too bad about it. Uh, it's very difficult, but so let's see. Uh, there we go, there we go. Guys, so again, I don't think the lag is due to my computer. Uh, again, I'm running a RTX 4080 with 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, it shouldn't, it should not be, or it, it should not be uh, the uh, the computer. So I'm assuming that it's server lag, like most of the time. So usually I just wait a tiny bit before we do that. This is like big time crafting ASMR. <laughs> do you want me to start whispering into the mic? <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, Buzz Pasta. You know, I always thought it was my computer to begin with, but you know, it's it's just server lag. Uh, I, I think uh, chat was giving me a little bit of shit about my computer very early on. <laughs> so, what's everybody been doing lately? Uh, has uh, has the game been has the game been working for you guys well since they've uh, did the did the brief, dude. Honestly, if I was rocking hourglasses and and I was uh, I was looking for big time crystals, you know, this is a beautiful spin, right? 150 minutes more. That's nothing to laugh about. Uh, but again, what we're interested is on the on the um, 
on the EXP. So right now what I'm using is I'm using my in-office laptop. Uh, so I got, uh, I do have a RTX 4080 laptop with 35, 35 32. Uh, megabytes of, of onboard memory, right? Uh, but recently I bought a 2022, because they don't have 2023 where I'm at right now, I bought a 2023 Razer, Razer Blade 15, right, Advance. Uh, I think it comes with a 3080 Ti. I was setting that up yesterday in between streams because again, I do tend to travel quite a bit. Uh, so I'm not sure uh, how that's gonna hold up. I'm not sure how that's gonna hold up. Uh, I so we're, we're, we are gonna have to see if I do start traveling, guys, and I'm unable to use this uh, this 4080, uh, and I have to step down to the 3080 Ti. I guess the only other thing that I might do is I might remove uh, my VTube avatar right from the stream just so that it uses less memory and I'm able to stream smoothly. So we'll find a way. We'll work around it. I'm here to stay. Uh, I specifically bought that laptop so that I can so that I can make sure I keep in touch with you guys and continue to stream, continue to play some marbles uh, as I'm on the road. But it also does not look like I'm going to be on the road anytime soon. Uh, let's see here. Honestly, the patch made the servers way worse. So it's funny, Bidim. Uh, you know, I had like, it was really easy for me this morning when I logged in twice. Uh, and then all of a sudden, when I started up stream, uh, it decided to give me a bunch of jank, right? Uh, luckily, we were able to do it. Uh, so from a personal metaverse perspective, I can say that, you know, it, it's helped out a tiny bit. Um, but that was really the first time where I had to log in and we're going to take 60% here. It was the very first time where I logged in uh, and I actually had to um, hang out with chat, uh, which I do enjoy doing, but I had to let chat wait roughly about, I want to say about 30 minutes uh, before we were able to log in. Thank God a lot of people were patient and stayed with me. I really do appreciate that, guys. And thank you to everyone who provided a follow uh, while I was going through this. Again, uh, ADD makes me sure that I need to focus uh, on the screen in front of me. So I do apologize if I'm not calling you guys out by name. Um, I look forward to chatting with you guys in chat. I think you can see that chat is really genuine uh, and they're really friendly. We got a lot of experts and OGs in there. Uh, shout out to Undisputed Noob, Steve Woody, as well as shout out to Costume TV, both very, very epic OGs in chat. Hey, we got the pirate in the house. What up, Nightmare? What up? What up? Thank you for joining the stream so late at night, right? I know that it must be uh, pretty late for you. Anyone know the mod chip USD price based on time crystals? All right, let me let me give that to you. Uh, or Steve Woody will like just bust it out with like mental calculations. But uh, basically it is uh, uh, 499.9. Point uh, okay, sorry. Uh, it is, uh, hold on one second. One second, guys. Let me just make sure I re-roll this up. It, it looks like it's hung. Uh, it's 0 0.007. Oh, dude, is my calculator hung as well? Oh, dude, I swear to God, if my calculator is hung, that really is a computer problem. It's 0 0.007 for a... Hold on. Guys, I think we're hung a tiny bit here. <laughs> Is it about 60-ish? I know that I calculated 20 mod chips is, is about a dollar, right? Is that how much it was, Steve? So every time we do a spin, every time we do the D-Gen thing, uh, we're spending a dollar. Uh, that's what I thought. Uh, we will find out very, very soon. <laughs> Wimps, dude, if you don't think that spending a dollar for a RNG spin on a bonus poll isn't that bad, uh, I, I think we're going to have to hold an intervention for you and not me, my friend. <laughs> uh, the stream is with all of the balls, with all of the balls is hung. Oh, uh, I'm going to hang all of your guys' balls in a tiny bit. Gonna keep, gonna going to create a few eunuchs in big time when we play some marbles. 
Jeff's giving, yeah, I absolutely do have a Discord. So I am the founder of the OG, OG NFT community. And it really is an NFT community because we talk about everything Web3 culture. So we talk about art, we talk about music, we talk about real estate, uh, we talk about gaming, right? We got a lot of gaming and so gamers and server. We have about 26,000 members. Uh, if you look down in my about, uh, it's called whale members, right? All right, so let's answer this question first, sorry. Uh, let's answer this question. How much is a mod chip? So a mod chip is 6,000 time crystals. 6,000 time crystals times 0 0.07 is $42. $42 divided by 625. It is six cents. It is six cents, uh, seven cents, six, uh, 6 .7 cents uh, per mod chip, my friend. So every time we spin a 20, essentially we're spending a dollar 20, right? A buck 20. A buck twenty to daddy open loot. <laughs> no worries, my friend. Daddy math, daddy math. So now we can actually count. So every single time we do we do that degen thing of spinning it ten times, we're actually spending like thirteen dollars. <laughs> Steve Woody, thank you so much for posting up that Discord. <laughs> At that math, I have $112 in mod chips. Absolutely. Again, I the reason why I buy so many mod chips or I stack up this much is because I am always worried about something happening with the supply, right? They might decide to discontinue it for a bit. Um, there we go. We, we're looking at like a we, we're looking at like a, a nice dollar seventy right now. Dollar seventy, three dollars forty. <laughs> anyone, anyone want to screenshot that? I swear to God, if we get like a, a quad right uh, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap myself upside the head. Uh, Daddy math, what is four times nothing? Four times zero is still zero. <laughs> Rerolling. All right, let's get this started here. You know, guys, I started off the scre these streams probably about five days ago. Again, previously did not stream at all. Was very active on, on Clubhouse as well as, um, as well as Twitter Spaces at one point in time. Uh, but I very much more enjoy all of your company uh, than in Clubhouse or in Twitter Spaces. It seems like in Clubhouse or Twitter Spaces, everyone is just trying to promote something and everyone is like, <clears throat> and I know that this isn't the case, uh, but 99% of people in NFT land on X are just like total assholes. Which is why I don't touch my ex. You're more than you guys are more than welcome to follow it, but uh, do not expect any updates uh, on my ex anytime soon. Uh, the only thing that I did use to use is something called Diamond App, uh, which runs on the decentralized social blockchain or DSO. Uh, absolutely love that, but at the same time, you know, I don't understand why. I think maybe it's the gamer community in Twitch where everyone is so just so much more chill. Uh, whenever you have like a text-based messaging, you know, platform, everyone seems to want to be a fucking asshole. Yo, what's up, PD Gaming? <laughs> what's up, PD Gaming? Absolutely, absolutely love you coming in stream. Thank you so much for hanging out, my friend. Yeah, I don't think, you know, I personally don't think that you guys will ever see me on X again. I, I mean, honestly, I've been lucky enough to be at a point in life where I don't, you know, again, I... I don't need to be in the spotlight and I don't enjoy it that much. I just enjoy hanging out with a bunch of friends, which to me, that's what all of you guys are, right? Because you guys are nice and uh, you guys, you know, again, are having intelligent conversation in chat. And really, that's what I want to see rather than someone coming up on stage and trying to pitch uh, someone trying to pitch like a, um, a two bit scam, right? Uh, which is why you guys most likely will never ever see me on X again, uh, unless two things. So the first thing is that, uh, you know, the all of the all of the um, all of the dirty degens, right? Uh, exit the space, which I highly doubt is ever going to happen uh, because it's just a lot of hate, right? Um, and then after the second thing is, I'm, I'm really not thrilled with some of the uh, management decisions uh, and and ways that Twitch is being man uh, Twitter is being managed at the, at the time being. Guys, this is exactly what we wanted. This is exactly what we wanted. So I saw. I know that you guys saw me being like a DJ just now and just rolling while I was shitting on Twitter. Um, but 
Andy Slaps asking, hey, Wadle Shark, do you need any more big time codes? I do not need big time codes, but feel free to, so it's very nice of you and very polite of you to ask. Uh, thank you. So whenever you ask if I am able to do it, I always do say yes, right? So Andy Slaps, feel free to post up those codes in chat. Uh, I'm sure that some people who are coming in are coming in from the whale community, uh, whale members or elite who do need codes. So uh, Andy Slaps, feel free to post them up in chat so that people can use them. I appreciate, I appreciate you because you are courteous to me. Thank you so much, my friend. Not, uh, oh, new filters on open loot from Steve. Not for everything, but open a space and you can see new filters on the menu. Dude, I absolutely loved it when they took away the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I absolutely loved it when they took away like the icons and the pictures and actually had a drop down menu. Mrs. 3 Science 69 fam, yo, what's going on? I've been waiting for you to stream again. I'm not sure, maybe you're, maybe you're taking a mental break, but thank you so much for joining the stream. It's wonderful to see you in here. Guys, if you're not following Mrs. 3 69 fam, she is the OG of OGs. And if you are not following her, you really do need to because she with uh, again, Jay Cluster, Costume TV, as well as Jayar uh, are probably the, the streamers that I watch the most, and they are just so helpful to their community. What we have here on Twitch would not be around uh, if we did not have these people streaming. Uh, Arthur Kijag using his ambergris to highlight uh, to highlight a, uh, a request. Could you show the unique hourglass luck rate? Absolutely, my friend. I will absolutely do that. Um, let me just check how many hourglasses we have to um, we have to craft. Okay, so we do have quite a few. So again, uh, you are so nice in asking, and you are also so nice to use your amber grease. Uh, so amber grease are my channel points. And for those of you guys who don't know, amber grease is the vomit of the whale, uh, but extremely valuable and extremely coveted. So given that you are willing to spend your amber grease on highlighting a message, I will make the 200 meter trek. Uh, back to a transcendent time warden and show you what a unique looks like, my friend. Hold on one second. Guys, in addition to that, why don't I just introduce a couple of things about the channel. So the first thing is that the longer that you are in here, the more amber grease you can accrue. And basically, unlike, uh, unlike other channels, uh, I actually allow you to uh, redeem your amber grease for NFTs. So if you can see inside there, essentially you get probably about 220 amber grease per hour that you stream with me. And basically when you reach a certain level, you can redeem a common or an uncommon hourglass from myself, all right? The other thing that you can use Ambergris to do is that you can use it to uh, contribute to a larger community goal, which is the, uh, which is the raffling. Uh, it's the raffling of a, I believe it's a rare hourglass and that, that we can slowly move that up over time. Uh, the third thing, uh, I guess the other things from a subscriber standpoint, uh, we do hold subscriber only, uh, subscriber only marbles where you are able to win a common hourglass. We try to do that every single day. I love giving shit away. Um, it's always been my MO to reward the community that stands behind the creators as well as the projects. So we probably do provide roughly about, I would say we give out two hourglasses a day and we, I have a special part of the factory that manufactures hourglasses for that. Um, guys, by the way, the winners of yesterday, uh, Leaping Lemur as well as Lang, you guys do need to reach out to Zoro to provide me with your ETH addresses uh, so that I can ship those hourglasses off to you. Congratulations again, by the way. Uh, today, what we're going to do, given that we have so many people, let's see how many people we have towards the end of the stream. If we have roughly about, you know, 100, uh, uh, close to 100, uh, what we'll do is I will run a follower a follower marbles game and give out one and then give and then do another subs only uh, marbles and give out another. So I'll give another two out during the stream. All right. Mrs. 369, the luck is insane. I mean, once you get to Mythic, the uh, after Mythic, the luck jumps exponentially. So I think you can see 322, it jumps to 540 for the Exalted. Then from 540, it jumps to 810 on the Exotic. Then it jumps to 1350 on the Transcendent. And then after that, it jumps exponentially 2160 on the Unique. So Zoro is my head of infrastructure. Uh, let me see here. Uh, sorry guys, hold on one second. 
Uh, Arthur Kiraj, I hope that answered your question, my friend. I know that is a, bud is a fledgling question for a lot of people here on the game. So I do make sure when we have a lot of new people, I do make sure that I do repeat myself and go through that all over again so that people understand, you know, uh, you know what's the size of the prize. Mrs. 369 fam, I can't wait to see you in game rocking all of the rare hourglasses, dude. The the token drops for all of you OGs is going to be absolutely insane. Insane, insane, insane. Sorry guys, I am managing uh I am managing multiple screens here. Uh one with my uh one with my uh, OBS equivalent, one with the game, and one for chat. So I do apologize for you. If my avatar looks like a loose, looks like a loose, loose chicken neck, uh, it's because I'm swaying my head from left to right and right to left uh, as we're doing the stream here. <laughs> Costume TV. Dude, what's your setup, man? I mean, I absolutely love the fact that I get to see Doggo. I mean, for me, if I decided to put my doggo on stream, she would never stay still. So most of the time, you'd probably see her like nipping at my feet. Uh, she's probably like, you know, why is daddy not paying attention? Nate Plus asking, how much costs to recharge a 24 hour rare hourglass? I am not sure, my friend. I'm not sure. I have not used any of my of my time wardens to recharge at the moment, but I do know that um, I do know that uh, what do you call that? I do I do know that Undisputed News probably does have that information. Need to hook you up with a quest tree. Run it in all VR. Jair, bro, what's going on? I am uh, I am trading potential uh, lechon time uh, to do Twitch time instead, my friend. Where I'm staying right now, there's like this epic fucking Filipino restaurant where they do, they do lechon, they do sig sig, they do uh, they do all of the good stuff, dude. I swear to God, but the only thing is that it's like a 45 minute drive, right? Uh, it's in the middle of nowhere, uh, but the food is so good, and you know, again, I got that Filipino connection. So, you know, again, if 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 I do go during a Sunday, uh, unfortunately, what you see. Uh, is that everyone gets off of church and then after that, uh, basically there's nowhere to sit. I need to try Balut, dude. I need to try uh, Balut. I think the close, uh, again, for those of you guys who don't know what Balut is, uh, Balut is a egg that has been fertilized and partially grown. So essentially, apparently you get meat and egg at the same time. Um, again, it's something that I'd probably try once uh, simply because it's so infamous. Uh, but apparently, Dyer, what I hear is that the gravy is the real kicker, right? Sorry, quote unquote gravy, right? I, I think I need to give that. Uh, I think I need to give that uh, that disclaimer down there. Quote unquote, gr the gravy is the real hero. But for those of you guys who like eggs, I mean, you know, coming from my culture, we have things called the uh, we have things called the uh, century egg, right? Uh, or thousand year old egg sometimes. And the century egg, or the th uh, sorry guys, I am clicking on things. Uh, I haven't dedicated myself to just chatting. Uh, it's just that I think we're lagging a tiny bit here, so it's um, it's 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 not behaving itself. So the century egg essentially is an egg that's fermented, and basically you have that sulfuric reaction, uh, whereby whereby the um, why, but whereby the egg white actually turns black and the egg yolk turns kind of like a greenish black, right? Absolutely love talking about food. I mean, again, talking about food is no good for my ADD, but um, you know, even in the whale members community, we'd be, we could be talking about anything as serious as like, you know, the digital, the digital revolution coming to the art world, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And all of a sudden, uh, my mods will go off on a tangent on why it's no good to have pineapple on pizza, right? Nightmare is the pineapple pro protagonist, apparently. That's what we call him. So uh, for those of you guys who don't know, we have three mods in chat right now. I got Nightmare, who's my head of community. Um, I think I have DC. I don't know if DC's here, but I have DC, who's my head of art and gaming. Uh, and then after that, we have Nightmare35 or Whale Nightmare, who is my... Uh, sorry, we have Zorro, who is my head of infrastructure. So, you know, while I know that a lot of people do use bots for management, uh, I'm very, very lucky to have mods who are willing to stay up late at night uh, to hang out with me on stream and to hang out with all of us. Is DC in bed? Dude, fuck DC, dude. <laughs> Demotion. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. Uh, one of the things that I stress is work-life balance, right? Dude, did I lose my 50 and 10? No way, no way. 
Are we gonna reroll again? I think we do have to, right? I do apologize, guys. I swear to God, it's not my computer. It's 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 the uh, it's the servers at the moment. Uh, but we are almost we are almost done with the rolling because after this, what we're gonna do? This is the northern wing uh, of the of the uh, of the hourglass sweatshop. You know, we have all of the. Um, we have all of the mythic and above time wardens that we're rolling right now, um, and then after that, to the south, we have uh, we have our time warden situation where we are taking five thousand dollars and trying to turn that into one thousand dollars a month. If you guys do enjoy that stream, feel free to jump into a short stream with me uh, later tonight, uh, roughly in about seven hours, uh, and we'll be doing that. And then after that, I have a. Time Warden Garden that is just dedicated to my followers as well as my subscribers. That's where all of your rewards come from. And then after that, I have a Southern Wing where I produce hourglasses to feed the beast. So I've been going, I've roughly been going for about one and a half hours now. We are gonna try finish this up on stream. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but answering some of the questions that we have there. Andy Slap's asking, how many Time Wardens do you have? Truly wild how big your setup is. I do appreciate that, Andy, but I am definitely not the biggest whale out there. I'm quite sure you have collectives as well as, um, as, well as uh, guilds uh, that actually have setups that are significantly larger than mine. Um, I do this for the love. I do this for the fun. I get to be a merchant within game. Uh, which is absolutely wonderful. So guys, unfortunately, we are not able uh, to complete the spin. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna log out uh, and we can chit chat in the meanwhile. Uh, and then after that, I'll try reload back into the game, all right? And so give me two seconds here. I'm gonna switch back to just chatting. I'm gonna stop the game, one second, there we go. And then after that, I'm gonna reload up again. <laughs> Merlin the Alchemist, I've seen you all over the place, especially on the leaderboard when someone alerted me that it was actually a thing. Um, sorry guys, I'm not playing this for the leaderboard, right? Uh, again, but congratulations to you, my friend. I see you doing extremely well. Extremely, extremely well on the game. I'm gonna just scroll through chat to see if I missed out anything. Again, I think we're at a size where I'm still able uh, to take a look at some of the questions. Jire, dude, at some point in time, you're gonna have to take me to Balut, uh, to eat Balut. I mean, I, I think there are, there. I, I know that you don't stay there, right? But I know that there are so many Web3 events happening in Manila and the Philippines at the moment, right? Um, you know, I, I think YGG is having their event towards November of this year. At some point in time, dude, you gotta go to the motherland and uh, we'll have some Balut, uh, we'll have some Sig Sig. Uh, we'll have some, uh, we'll, 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 have, we'll have a lot of good food together. Can't wait to go to the Philippines. I haven't been back to Manila in probably about, let's see, it's 2023. I haven't been back to Manila in probably about eight years now. Adobo, yeah. <laughs> Rixia09, welcome to chat. We will have some adobo as well. Absolutely, dude, I swear to God, if you guys, if I ever do get, oh. Oh, this is oh, one second here, guys. We're gonna fall straight into my. We're gonna fall straight into my. Um, into my metaverse. Hold on, one second. There we go. So nothing has loaded, but we fell directly into my metaverse. We fell down the black hole, um, and we all we need to do now is just wait for my time crystals to load again. That should happen anytime soon. Uh, hopefully. Hold on, it's lagging a tiny bit. There we go. There we go. Benset. Yeah. Bulalo, absolutely. I swear to God. All right, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make the statement right here. If Big Time ever has again, and I, I've been thinking about this, it should not be called Big Con, right? It definitely shouldn't be held called Big Con. Uh, if they ever hold Time Con, if it ever is in the Philippines, I swear to God, I will order you guys again. I. I you know, just for security and safety reasons, uh, I might not be able to join you guys in person, uh, but what I will absolutely do is I will order you guys the biggest fucking banquet that you guys have ever seen. All right, we're almost there. F fucking stupid dude. Welcome to chat. Don't worry about it, man. Uh, I think we are gonna be on stream for quite a, long, quite a while today. Uh, again, I do tend to stream for an hour at a time. 
Uh, but there's just so much work to be done uh, in these in these factories at the moment that I do need to make sure that uh, everything does get done because every hour that these time wardens um, are not working, uh, it's essentially a waste, right? <clears throat> Sinigang, very good. Guys, do you know if anyone is planning to have some sort of in IRL big time event given the given the amount of adoption that's happening so far? Foking stupid, I really do appreciate that, man. Uh, again, I wish I could keep all of these videos up here for posterity, but unfortunately, you know, that's not an option. A lot of my videos will disappear over two weeks. Now, given that, what I can do is I can set up a VOD channel on YouTube. Um, and, you know, with that VOD channel in YouTube, sorry, I'm going to back, back, back. Uh, with that VOD channel on YouTube, I will be able to save all of these streams for posterity. I want to, uh, Costume TV saying, I want to craft a real big time shield. Dude, let me know if you ever crowdfund that. I would absolutely want to see you do that. That would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Undisputed saying, we will host one in the UK next year. Dude, if you host one in the UK next year, I sort of go, I will try my very best to go across. This coming from, dude, beautiful, beautiful 100%. Uh, this coming from someone who used to fly uh, in planes significantly more than even taking a car. Guys, I mean, I was at a point where I was flying 300,000 kilometers or 400,000 kilometers every single year. Um, you know, I, I have tried to uh, minimize the amount of travel that I do recently. And if I do travel, again, I, I have this uh, phobia of, of heights. So... I do tend to want to either take the train or take a car or drive myself, actually. I, I very much enjoy driving. I drove all around Oxford uh, when I was there. But I do, I do like to enjoy, I, I, I do try to make sure that I take other modes of transportation. <clears throat> Merlin the Alchemist saying, I would love to assist with edits and uploads 100%. Merlin, thank you so much, my friend. I will actually, we should actually reach out. I actually should reach out to you and after that we can talk about it because I've been um, I've been using uh, I've been using contracted editors to do some of the videos that I might release probably pretty soon. Again, I'm not interested in creating too long YouTube video content, and it's solely for entertainment and not for education. Um, it's a very different angle uh, on the way that I'm doing this. But I guess the only way that we're going to get further reach for the channel uh, is making sure that we um, is that we expedite the content to other places as well. So. You guys will probably see some developments um, on the YouTube side, uh, probably within the next probably within the next week or two. But in the meanwhile, you know, again, my love is for Twitch. My my love is for sitting down with all of you, uh, hanging out and playing this game and chatting with you, uh, chatting with you in in chat. Uh, and yeah, I you know, YouTube is just a way that we can take this a, another 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 level. Talking about another level, I committed a rookie mistake. Uh, should have upgraded before we did the craft so that we could get a lower craft time. But no worries. Uh, again, I don't tend to beat other people up and I do not tend to beat myself up when we make mistakes. We are all human. Oxford is beautiful, dude. And I was surprised the food is, the food is wonderful. The only thing I would say about the UK, particularly Oxford, it is expensive AF, man. I mean, this is coming from someone who, who, who spent a significant amount of time in Hong Kong, uh, as well as Tokyo, which are two of the most expensive cities in the world. If you're looking to live a, a reasonable, I guess a reasonable, uh, a reasonable lifestyle in the UK based on rent, I'm not talking about buying property, but on rent, Dude, the yield on rent in Oxford was ridiculous. I think it was like, um, you know, I used Airbnbs while I was there, right? Because I do enjoy larger spaces. Um, but I think the yield on rent for them was like 10%. I own some properties in Portugal and, you know, when I could get like 8% yield, I was already like over the moon. It's 5K a month on a decent four bed. Yeah, dude, I, I agree with you. Uh, but look at this. So I spent, um, <laughs> maybe it's because I airbnb beat it, but you know, I did take a look at the market and I stayed in a hotel uh, for quite a long while before I decided to do it. 
I spent 10k a month. I spent 10k a month on a on a uh, on a decent four bed. 10k. Again, it came with a bit of extras, but you know, again, that's that's uh, that's unbelievable, right? And it wasn't even that big, right? When I keep saying big, it really wasn't even that big. It was like 150 square meters. It was like it was like 15,000 square feet. <laughs> Even if, right? Right now, I'm sitting in an office in Southeast Asia, um, and the cost of this office that I rent uh, is roughly about 300 US dollars. Uh, it's in a high-end property, and it's 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 150 square meters, right? It was a, it was exorbitant. I again. Uh, I, I mean, I, I love the food. I love being able to go to Waitrose and Sainsbury's and Tesco's all the time. But Jesus Christ. And every time I went to eat out, right? Um, sorry, you, you guys are hearing uh, penny pinching stories uh, from a whale. But every single time I went to eat out, it was probably going to be about 80 quid, maybe 80, 90 quid. And then 80, 90 quid, essentially, you can buy the same meal in Southeast Asia five times over. <laughs> Watch your video on Twitch earlier today, Undisputed. Absolutely. Do guys, if you have not, and if you are not doing so already, you do need to follow and sub to Undisputed Noobs. He provides an unbelievable amount of information regarding the space. You know, I should chat economics. Occasionally, I'll show you the occasional spreadsheet and go through spreadsheets. Uh, but uh, Undisputed Noobs, Steve Woody, will really take that analysis into overdrive. Uh, you know, talking about technical analysis on the token, talking about analysis on the supply and demand of the market, uh, talking about forecasts for the market. Again, nothing that we say is financial advice, regulatory advice, um, or, uh, yeah, and nothing is financial or regulatory advice, but, uh, again, it is always good to have a point of reference, right? Again, anything that we do say, uh, anything that we do say is just a point of reference for all of you to make the decisions that you guys do want to make uh, as you guys are moving through big time, all right? We had a bunch of subscribers while I was uh, while I was uh, while I was uh, focusing on the screen. I want to give a shout out not only to Costume TV for the gift subs, thank you so much, my friend, but also to Z Lucas. Brrr, right? Uh, thank you so much for the sub, my friend. I very much appreciate it. All right, guys, we're spinning for the XP. I think we're almost done with the Northern Wing. I can assure you that the Southern Wing is not gonna be this painful. Uh, the reason why is because we're really not looking for spins on the Southern Wing. They are mainly to feed the beast, right? So we should be able to get this done pretty quick after this. And then after that, uh, given how many people we have, you know, why don't we run three rounds of marbles again? Why don't we run three marbles again? So essentially what we're gonna do, I'll probably buy more Time Wardens as well. Uh, so that so that I can I can give away more rewards um, Guys, I hope you guys understand that it costs more to send you guys the rewards sometimes when gas is high than the rewards itself So sometimes occasionally I do request your patience, right? Uh, as we look through until gas actually lowers a tiny bit and I can send it at a more reasonable rate Given that the hourglass prizes have been already distributed for the first round I will look to distribute the prizes for the second round immediately following the stream uh, pending gas prices uh, But do give me roughly a 48 to 72 hour window uh, Once you win your prize so that I can uh, I can wait till gas is reasonable so I can do that Never do TA on a gaming token. Here's some TA. Dude, I absolutely love that. I think I coughed up my Big Mac. Uh, I coughed up my Big Mac when you said that. <laughs> Guys, and again, I don't eat McDonald's very often. You know, given how old I am, I do try to live, live a healthy lifestyle. Uh, I do a lot of kickboxing and Muay Thai uh, and usually do eat a low-carb diet uh, or a no-carb diet. But yesterday, it just got so wild. Uh, that, you know, just occasionally you just need the Mackers or you need the, uh, I think Zoro, do you guys say, Zoro, you guys say Mackers, right? Uh, you need the Mickey D's. You need the Mickey D's. Uh, nothing better than sitting down in front, uh, in my meeting room with the projector blasted all over the wall, uh, having some McDonald's, uh, or having some, uh, Nilaga and watching Undisputed Noobs, Jire, Mrs. 369, and costume TV, and J Cluster as well, dude. I, I love watching your guys stream. You guys really are OG. You guys really are epics. 
the founder of such a great film. Dude, I really love that. I, I enjoyed the film as well. Dude, I enjoy, however, the most mundane, the most mundane films. I mean, Up in the Air is probably one of my favorites. The one with George Clooney. That's probably one of my favorite films as well. Which is why I prefer lo-fi, low-key chill uh, rather than uh, rather than rather than a, rather than a Gen Z rave, right? <laughs> Ah, dude, I gotta set up the uh, the more you know. I gotta do the more you know, the more you know meme up over here. But yeah, dude, I mean, I, I don't think a lot of people know that, right? The main business for McDonald's is real estate. Surprising, surprising, surprising. You know, you'd assume that the main the main business, dude, whips, bro, and and again, this is not to criticize my parents' um, parenting style. The very first movie that I got to watch as a kid, uh, when I was like four or five years old, was Bloodsport. <laughs> but you know, at four years old, you know, you don't understand. You know, you you you. Oh shoot, guys! I got so excited about Bloodsport that I missed the fifty. Anyway, we got a gold instead. Um, <laughs> Wimps, uh, I would have to agree with you. Uh, but you know, again, uh, dude, I've watched that movie so much, so many times and I'm old enough where, you know, it was cutting edge to have a movie, a movie on VHS. Uh, by the time I finished with that VHS, you know, at the age of eight or nine, uh, you know, that, that, that VHS was totally uh, totally wrecked. But it also led me again, when I was young, again, I didn't know he was, he was that much of an asshole, right? Uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, um, <laughs> You know, he used to be my absolute idol. I mean, you know that scene where he's like splitting on the chairs, like post coitus. Um, was that post coitus or is that is that is that post coitus or was it pre coitus? And sorry for calling it coitus, guys. Again, I think you can tell I watch uh, I watched a little bit of Big Bang as well. Uh, but anyway, I think pre or post coitus, he's like doing these splits on two chairs. <laughs> For those of you guys who have not watched uh, Bloodsport before, if you want a shitload of cringe, uh, go ahead and do that. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. Guys, again, if you guys do have any questions for chat, if you do have any questions for me, feel free to let me know. More than happy to answer them. Uh, if you guys want to chat about food, more... <laughs> Nightmare. Dude, the issue with Jean-Claude Jean Van Damme is that there's always coitus. Right, there, there's always there, there is always some some form of there's always some form of coitus in all his movies, dude. Even in like fucking like Kickboxer, right? Have you guys watched Kickboxer? <laughs> Say hi to Brazil. Hello, Brazil, dude. I I I I mean I don't I don't understand, right? <laughs> How many uncommons? How many uncommons to craft an uncommon hourglass? So I, so you need five commons to craft an uncommon, my friend. Oh, that's perfect. Good. We're we're making good progress here. We are making good good progress here. Uh, I think I watched all of. I watched Bloodsport. I even watched, and I can't even remember it because maybe it was so bad. I think they have like Bloodsport two, and then after that I watched Kickboxer one, two, three. Uh, dude, I used to love John claude Van Damme. He was a vibe, but again, I, I mean, I mean, based on what we see now with social media and everything, uh, you know, I, I've heard he's a little bit of a dick, right? He's with all the sex, uh, sexual harassment accusations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, you know, back in the day, right? When you look, when you talk about action heroes, I mean, you're talking about Schwarzenegger, you're talking about Stallone. You're talking about Jean-Claude Van Damme, you're talking about Chuck Norris, and you are talking about um, Steven Seagal, right? I never liked Steven Seagal. Um, you know, by far, Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee, um, Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee, I mean, those, those, those two were probably, my, were probably my, major, my, fav my major favorites. Even Stallone is not bad, right? Van Damme is a legend. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I don't know. He's no longer a vibe for me. Uh, again, he's... Uh, you know, when you watch those movies as well, the Triple Jason, only 30%. We want a 50 over here. So when you, watch, when you watch those movies, I mean, you always thought that they were like 150% uh, RNG, I love you. Um, you know, when you always watch those movies, I mean, you assume that they were going to be like six foot, you know, six foot, seven foot. 
Uh, dude, I've seen Jet Li, uh, and I've seen Van Damme, and I've seen uh, Schwarzenegger in person. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not what you expected. Uh, a little bit, a little bit of disappointment. <laughs> Love Jet Li as well, by the way. Uh, it's a shame, again, it's a, it's a shame what happened with the, with the disease that he has, though. So. Not such a big fan of Jackie Chan. <laughs> what about The Last Dragon, dude? Are you turning my big time stream into like, um, oh, the 90s were the best stream or the 80s were the best stream? <laughs> So I think a couple of them are photoshopped, Arizago, but I think a bunch of them. Dude, Bolo Young is the best. Dude, Bolo Young. Dude, what was what? What's his name in uh? What's his name in Bloodsport? Chun Li, not Chung Chung Li, right? Dude, I swear to God. But dude, Bolo Long isn't even Korean. Number one, Bolo Long. So let's let let's let's debunk some myths here. Number one. Bolo Lung isn't even Korean. Dude, beautiful. Bolo Lung isn't even Korean. I think he's Hong Kong, right? Uh, and top of that, Bolo Lung isn't even a martial artist. Bolo Lung is a bodybuilder. <laughs> What's that famous phrase? I, I will break you like I broke your friend. Is that is that is that is that the phrase? <laughs> Bolo is a beast. <laughs> That, that's, uh, dude, well, what are some of the guys? Chat, feel free to, I don't know if you can post memes in stream, I'm not sure, but feel free to post out uh, some of the famous sayings from Bolo. I can't remember, but absolutely loved it. Uh, you guys are encouraging me to actually start, um, to actually start taking a look at uh, Bloodsport again immediately after this, simply for the cringe now that I'm significantly older. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. You break my record, now I break you, like I break your friend. There you go. <laughs> Dude, but you know, again, you know, one of the most epic, one of the most epic, uh, you know, what do you call those scenes, those hype scenes, uh, is in the beginning when, when they introduce all of the fighters all over the world. All right, dude, that, that was like, you know, and after that, you, you see the sumo who got punched in the balls eventually, who got castrated eventually. Uh, you see all, you see, you see the guy from Africa climbing the tree and breaking the coconut, I think, and, and stuff like that. Sorry, dude, well, now when you kind of think about it, it's kind of racist as well, right? It's, it's actually a pretty racist film. Um, but anyway, uh, you see all of these different people and then they're training. Dude, that's probably the best hype uh, cycle or the best hype uh, introduction that I've ever seen. The quest is good too. <laughs> Guys, what are you turning my stream into? Why are we reminiscing about 80s action movies? 100%, we're good to go. Guys, and by the way, uh, feel free to sub. Uh, I let my dog out of her cage uh, and I have not been paying attention to her because I did want to make sure that she has the freedom to run around while I'm streaming for this long. So. Uh, she might have. She might. She might have destroyed. Uh, she might have destroyed the meeting room. But uh, anyway, <laughs> okay. I think we're good over here. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there before we start to play some marbles. <clears throat> Dude, I would absolutely do that. I would absolutely do that. I would absolutely have a watch along. Uh, Van Dam. A Van Dam. Uh, a Van Dam watch along. Uh, but I, I don't think that's legal. Under siege. Dude. I, 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 I mean, I, I don't think, again, I never got, I never got uh, tied in into Seagal for some reason, and, and, and rightfully so. I mean, now, now we know what we know. Um, I know some people who worked with Universal uh, at some point in time, and the only thing that they told me was Seagal's a dick, right? Uh, but given that, I mean, he, he's, he's awesome for the cringe. Um, <laughs> I do enjoy watching the shorts uh, when he fucks up. Um, hey, but that, that, that's what happens when you have a lack of self-awareness, right? <laughs> also, guys, so for the Bloodsport fans out there, dude, I swear to God, you know, I've been doing martial arts probably since the age of six, right? No, I've been doing martial arts since the age of five. Four, 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 four. So that's been a really long time doing martial arts. Dude, I, I had never heard of the Dim Mak, right? I swear to God, Dim Mak is not real. <laughs> Somebody better create like a dim mock emoji. <laughs> I gotta create a dim mock emoji. 
Uh, where are you from, my friend? So Andy Zhao, I am from everywhere and nowhere. So sorry, I, I don't mean to be over secretive. Um, essentially, I grew up everywhere, right? I grew up in the UK. I grew up in I grew up in Europe. I grew up in the United States. Uh, and over the course of my life, I have probably lived in every single country in Asia, with the exception of North Korea. Uh, that is that is definitely not on my plan anytime soon. But uh, where are you from, my friend? I absolutely love meeting people from new cultures. I have friends from all over the world. Um, and if, you, if English isn't your native language, you know, feel free to type in, you know, the languages that I speak are Chinese, Korean, Japanese, and English. So feel free to type that in the chat if you guys feel more comfortable speaking in your native language. I'm absolutely okay with that. Brazil, dude, amazing and beautiful country. So, uh, you again, I, I spend a lot of time in Portugal, right? Um, again, not the same country, similar language, uh, but absolutely love all of my Brazilian friends as well, simply because there are quite a lot of you in Portugal. One second here. So we are going to finish craft. Argentina. Some of my best friends are from Argentina, Aras Lago. Uh, some of my best friends are in the space are those that I made in 2018, 2019. Uh, I'm very close with the people and the leadership from NFT Studios. Uh, I also do know, Aras Lago, that I think it's a big time. I know that the... Um, I know that that metaverse project, right, is is, is based out of Argentina. Is, is big time being based out of Argentina as well for the time being? So we're going to make sure we craft the epic here, guys. This is going to take a tiny bit of time because we do want to make sure that we get uh, the ample amount of experience. Yep. Uh, so actually, I have. It's it's been a very long while, guys. Right? I'm I'm pretty damn I'm pretty damn fucking old. Um, but. Uh, one of my majors, I came out with three majors with my bachelors. Uh, one of my majors is actually Japanese studies, um, is actually in Japanese philosophy, uh, but also spent some time as a student at Waseda. Uh, and then after that, proceeded to actually spend some time working in Japan. Will not disclose which company for, though. All right, we're rolling this. Hopefully, we're going to get 50 50. 50 50 is going to do good. Ukraine here, Triple Gary. Dude, I hope everything is safe and well with you. Uh, what's a, I, I, again, I, I, I do tend to sway away from politics, but on a personal question and curiosity, is everything all right, my friend? I mean, everything is not all right, but is, 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 are you guys, are you okay? <laughs> you know sound like my old bro. How many do you recharge? I recharge zero. I craft all the time. Again, I don't craft because I'm trying to sell. I mean, the main purpose of the stream is essentially I am crafting towards the mid quad four. Okay, there we go. We're going to take that anyway. That is good enough for us. Crafting the epic hourglass. I do know that we probably have more hourglasses underway, uh, but we need one more. We just need one more to craft the, our very first legendary. Guys, 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 we are getting there. Hold on one second. And the next half of this you know, factory management is actually going to run significantly quicker. <laughs> Game 24 TV. What, 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 what? What happened? Why so many places? <laughs> My friend, welcome to chat. Uh, I do appreciate the compliment. Yeah, I'm running 127 spaces and roughly about 100 and 132 time wardens. Soon to be 138 time wardens. Uh, very, very soon. Uh, no, and one Zhao, I don't, uh, I do not, I do not do any, um, I do not do any recharging for the time being because I don't sell and I, and I currently have not played the game as much as I should, the actual game, but really, this is what I enjoy. This is what I'm enjoying right now uh, from this. So this is what we're going to do, guys, just so I can manage your expectations, because I know that some people are here for me to uh, to listen to me be a blubber mouth. And I know that some people are here to learn about crafting. And I know that some people are here to play marbles. So I do want to manage everyone's expectations on stream, right? Uh, if you do get bored, feel free to drop a message in chat. I'll chat with anybody and everybody. I know that chat will chat with everybody and anybody as well. Uh, but this is what we're going to do. We are going to, and it's only a, I really wish I got 50-50, but it's just not worth it. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to collect and set off the remaining Time Wardens. We are not going to be RNGing this uh, simply because they are common Time Wardens. Uh, and then after that, I will take a 
10 minute doggy break. And for those of you guys who don't know, I have a very wonderful and cute uh, nine month old poodle. Um, and then after that, uh, we'll take a doggy break and get ready for marbles. Given that there's so many people again, what we will do today is we will do two rounds of marbles or this session because I will stream probably later tonight. Uh, we will do two sessions of marbles, one for followers and one for subscribers only. All right. So we're almost there, guys. Bear with me. Uh, we are going to get everything done. And no, we are here to talk about 80s action flicks and food. Dude, I don't understand. I'm from the 80s, right? Whoops. Uh, I'm from the 80s. You're from the... I think you're from the 80s, Nightmare. But why does everyone think that the 80s were so great? I mean, I, I enjoyed the 80s. I was a little bit too young to under fully understand what the 80s really was. Oh, shoot. I said I wouldn't do this. Anyway, let's... Uh, since we did it already, uh, let's see what we get. And then we'll just take whatever we get here. I, I really enjoyed the 90s, dude. The 90s was kind of cool. I mean, the 90s was, was kind of more of uh, mainstream pop culture, right? It was a growth of what we saw into the 2000s, the 2010s, and the 2020s. We're going to finish craft here, and we're going to craft again. <laughs> 80s was sharing black and white TV with your parents. Dude, 80s is when I was playing Duck Hunt on my, on my NES, dude. Shout out to you guys who owned NES or a Sega Genesis. Uh, that's basically, uh, that's basically how ancient I am. Oh, am I getting lost here? All right, we have one more. Dude, but honestly, when you talk about 80s kids, a lot of us are more like boomers than anything, no? <laughs> I'm going to Sega now. So Sega, I love Sega. Oh, dude, I remember when I when I when I when I got into gaming, it was the Nintendo Entertainment System or the NES. It was the Family Com. Uh, it was the Neo Genesis, uh, and it was the uh, Sega Genesis. Right? Those are those are those are the wow. You are cool if you have any of these items. Shout out to chat to anybody who still plays those, by the way. <laughs> Shout out to chat. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Uh, again, there's much better things for me to play now. Uh, although I do reminisce about them. Uh, I do reminisce about them quite a bit. Uh, but my favorites, my favorites, uh, my favorite is still big time for the time being. Guys, by the way, I know that you guys have seen me exclusively stream big time. It's not the case. I'm sorry, we're just waiting for this craft. It's not the case because I have any ties to big time or the management or anything whatsoever. Uh, it's simply because I enjoy the economics of the game. And given that, I do think that you guys will see me play other things later on. Uh, particularly, I've been I've been itching to get into some Gods and Chain play. Um, you know, Gods and Chain play. I, I I can give away free cards. Oh, dude, this has become this has become reflex, whereby I say I'm not gonna spin, but I jump into the screen and immediately my mouse my mouse goes to reroll. Uh, dude, I hate myself. Anyway, we're not we're, we're not gonna care what we get on the spin, and we're just gonna continue. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I think there are a couple of more Web three games that are very well polished, very similar to Big Time uh, in terms of their maturity and their economics that I'd really love to play on stream. One of those would be Gods and Chain. Shout out to the chat, uh, chat. If you guys want to see me play Gods and Chain, do feel free to let me know. Uh, so that's one of them. The other one is coming out in December. And I know that not only the whale mods, but also uh, Steve Woody is going to be playing us alongside us. Uh, we are absolutely going to do some shrapnel. Absolutely fucking going to do some shrapnel. Uh, coming out from my teenage years where I used to play CS um, and, you know, even playing into CSGO. I haven't spent a lot of time with CSGO 2 yet or CS2, um, but, you know, again, I probably will play a tiny bit of CS just to get ready. Uh, so that I can camp and get those headshots, if that's possible, <laughs> um, in, in, in Shrapnel. Going to have to deal you in God sometime. Undisputed, I would love to do that. I got a shiny deck. I'm going to blind you with all of my golds. <laughs> Off the grind. Oh, I will absolutely take a look at that. Again, I started re-gaming again uh, probably earlier last year while I had some downtime, and, you know, again, I was a little bit sick. Uh, so one of the ways that I was able to pass the time was by playing games. I think the game, I played a bit of CS last year, and then after that, I played a bunch 
of Diablo 4. Condolences to everybody who got wrecked by the lack of content in that game. Um, but uh, I played a bit of Di Diablo 4. I played all the way into Season 1. Have not touched Season 2 as of yet. And then for some reason, I got highly addicted to Pokemon Unite, right? <laughs> of all things, of all things to play, I got addicted to Pokemon Unite. And I actually did pretty well. Uh, I got up to Masters 1700, right? Within three days. Within three or four days. Wait, I think I got... No, it's not Masters. I, I got up to the tier below Masters 1700 in three to four days. And then after that, I broke my way through. Uh, and then after that, I got bored, right? I got absolutely bored after that. Shout out to everybody who plays those things. Uh... Uh, Diablo 4, C uh, Diablo 4, CS, Pokemon Unite. You know, again, sometimes, you know, while I love Web3 gaming, uh, it has to make sense. It has to be fun, right? And if something is not fun, then I'm going to play Web2 games, right? Now, I won't necessarily stream Web2 games, but uh, I definitely will play Web2 games. Craft item. But absolutely cannot wait for Shrapnel. Uh, I know that there's not going to be a lot of people with early access, uh, given the fact that uh, the drop packs are relatively rare. Uh, so I'm looking forward to being one of several streamers uh, who comes up here on Twitch and shows you... Oh, dude. <laughs> He's hung again. And shows you how a boomer plays in FPS. <laughs> Am I Emperor Tut? Uh, I, think, I, I, I think we have a relatively same size pyramid it seems <laughs> I, th I think our pyramid is is roughly the same size uh let's see here oh, oh dude i missed this i thought it was connected to here hold on one second here so guys one of the reasons why you see me try to connect as many spaces together is because i want to make sure that i'm ready for different types of uh time wardens now ideally for my for my purposes i want to have all of the types that focus on speed right because i want to craft as soon as possible um, but given that, uh, again, the, the larger your space, the more Time Wardens you're able to can connect to it. And given the different types, the more expeditious uh, you guys are going to be able to do that. <laughs> Remember the pitchforks out for the D3 real money auction houses? Oh, dude. Dude, I remember when Diablo 1 came out and literally what I did, my brother and I did, because we knew that my parents were headed out for vacation uh, and we were being babysat. So basically I made sure I like stuffed tissue uh, in the in the door lock uh, for, the, uh, for my parents' study because that was the only computer that we had in the house. Uh, so when they thought that they locked the door, uh, the tissue jammed the lock. And essentially what my brother and I were able to do was that we were able to, to, to pull open the door once my parents left the house. And I swear to God, it was like 72 hours of straight gaming. That's 90s kids. That's 90s kids. All of you, all of you Gen, all of you Gen Z, you guys don't understand what it's like not to have your own computer. My very first laptop, <laughs> sorry, I'm being, I'm being like the grumpy old man who's wearing his, uh, his bathrobe and, and waving his newspaper, right? My very first laptop, uh, you know, had a, had a battery life of, of 45 minutes, <laughs> right? In addition to that, I can tell you that the very first game that I played um, as a, I want to say as a middle schooler, uh, or, or a high schooler, I think maybe high schooler, right? On my laptop that lasted 45 minutes because my mom made me go and do the laundry in the laundromat. Uh, so I take my laptop with me, uh, was Ultima 8. Who, who plays, who, who in this chat has played the, who has played the Ultima series? I have not heard any of you praise, uh, was it, did I play Ultima 7 or did I play Ultima 8? I, I, I know I played either Ultima 7 or Ultima 8. Uh, but that probably was my most favorite, my most favorite game in the world, right? Uh, guys, give me two seconds here. I'm going to mute off. Uh, I just heard a bang from outside, so I'm just going to make sure that the dog is okay. Uh, I am not going to, um, I am not going to put on Be Right Back because I'll be back in 30 seconds, all right? I, dude, I loved Ultima. Oh, dude. Dude, I, I mean, the complexity behind that game of becoming a necromancer while also learning how to do all this other shit, right? And summoning a golem. Eventually, I couldn't play anymore because I raised a golem and I used the golem to kill to kill Cabal. I think his name was Cab Cabal. C-A-B-A-L, the guy who, who's supposed to resurrect, who resurrected you on the beach. Um, yeah, I killed Cabal and then my game hung. 
So, you know, again, that, not a good idea to try to kill NPCs that you shouldn't be killing, right? Uh, that's where I learned my lesson from, and I lost like maybe, you know, 30 or 40 hours of gameplay because I decided to be funny, and, you know, you had this special ability where you were able to rain fire down, and I really wanted to kill, to kill NPCs for some reason. So I ran through town, raining fire down on everybody, summoned a golem, and made it attack uh, one of the main NPCs, and then essentially my game just totally glitched and crashed. So easy way to uh, to reduce all of that gaming cred that you might get. But guys, give me two to three minutes. I'm not going to post up the doggy. Be right back. Uh, the reason being is because I should be pretty quick. I want to make sure she's had enough time to run around. Uh, she's had enough time to roll around in my office as well. So I'm going to put her in the cage and I will be back in two minutes. All right, sorry guys, I'm back. So quick update, uh, Doggo decided uh, to take some of my uh, Shoji screen lamps uh, in the meeting room. The bang was basically, she, uh, again, she's just, I love her, she's just looking for attention. Uh, but essentially what she did, essentially what she did uh, was she took one of my shoji lamps, uh, she essentially knocked it down, and she decided to rip up the shoji paper. Do not worry, no one was disciplined. Uh, I know that she's still, you know, she's, she's still only nine months, ten months old, right? Um, but that's what Doggo decided to do. So subs would be appreciated for a new shoji lamp. Kidding. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'll probably I'll probably uh, just rearrange my lamps later on because I have a few. <laughs> oh, I love and hate that dog at the same time. Everyone can hear me all right. We are getting to the point where we are going to do marbles pretty soon. So for those of you guys who have friends who are following, feel free to call them in. Uh, I know this has been an extraordinary long stream. We're approaching about two hours now. Um, and I know that some people, you know, again, they enjoy the marbles part of the stream. It doesn't matter to me whether you're coming in for the chat. Of course, that would be most appreciated. But it really doesn't matter to me whether you're coming in for the chat, whether you're coming in here to lurk, uh, whether you're coming in here to learn uh, or whether you're coming in here to, to play some marbles, right? They are all different essential parts of my stream and you guys should have the freedom to do whatever you guys want as long as you guys are entertained, all right? So we are almost there, guys. <laughs> We are almost there. Uh, undisputed. This is the uh, this is the three hundred and uh, these are the three hundred and seventy dollar time wardens that I bought that I that I swapped up from the market today. Dude, I was surprised. I thought after your stream, people would be like, oh no, the 20th is coming. We need to sell Time Wardens. Oh no. <laughs> I thought we were going to see that, right? I thought we were going to see that. And I thought I was going, I was going to uh, be able to come in and sweep up a couple more at 350 Right? I, I thought, I, I really did think so. Oh, shoot. I think we're blurred out a tiny bit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's the 20th. <laughs> Dude, I know so many people are so worried about the price of the token. I, I just don't get it, right? I get it, right? I, I, I do get it. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think my, my and I, I don't want to call it an investment, right? Because it's not an investment. Uh, but but uh, with the lack of a better word, uh, my my capital, 
my my capital deployment length uh, might be significantly longer than a lot of people, right? So, <clears throat> so I think it, I think it also from investment strategy, it pertains from person to person. Um, sorry, guys, I just keep hanging. I swear to God, this is not my fault. Um, uh, still hung. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'm I'm amusing myself. Uh, I'm amusing myself with my own jokes right now. Uh, anyway, anyway. Um, so basically, uh, you know, everyone has a different way that they want to approach, uh, that they want to approach uh, big time, right? Uh, from a capital deployment perspective, uh, some people want to be able to make money on a shorter term level. Some people want to make money on a, on a midterm level. So, you know, basically when you look at successful projects, you know, the bulk of the reward doesn't come in in the initial level or in the mid level. Right. So in the so let me talk about time frames. So short term investors, essentially what you're looking for is you are looking for returns, you know, within. Wow. In the Web3 space, uh, short term investors are pretty much looking for returns from, you know, a span of one week to two months, you know, midterm. You know, again, you're looking at three months to a year and long term, you're probably looking at people who are looking for returns, you know, at the high point or crux of a game that could be anywhere from three to four years. So the way that I'm looking at this, um, the way that I'm looking at this game from a capital deployment perspective, I would rather see the game go to the levels of wow or bust. Right. So I think the way that I approach things is very differently from a lot of other people. Again, I can afford to and I've been very fortunate enough to be able to afford to blow, uh, you know, five hundred thousand dollars on a game. And I hope I don't go bust. Right. Uh, but again, pertaining to risk management, you know, half a million dollars is not going to kill me. Right. Um, which is why, again, risk management, risk management, risk management, understand your situation, never leverage, never loan, never borrow, right? Uh, and only risk what you are able to. Andy Wan Zhao, I have a total of 127 spaces, 127 spaces. Uh, my, so Bindim, I mean, that's something that I wanted to do at some point. And sorry, guys. It, oh, there we go. We can do that now. So, Bindim, my, my, and sorry, guys, I, I don't want to call it investment again, but my, my, my equipment, right, um, is predicated, uh, the ultimate value of my equipment is predicated on the f three to four year growth of the game. It's not predicated on what happens on the 20th, right? Because at the end of the day, what do I want to see? This is what I see in my head. This is wonderful. I'm lagging while we're talking, so, so, so it kind of works out. No worries, Anwen Zhao, you're doing very well. Um, so this is the way that I see things. At the end of the day, what is the pie in the sky? The pie in the sky is that big time grows to half or one times the size of World of Warcraft, right? What do you think my out is going to look like if big time even reaches one quarter the size of World of Warcraft. What is my out going to look like? It's going to be disgusting. It's going to be absolutely disgusting. Now, for me, I never exit out of an investment opportunity unless I am very certain it's going to be life changing money. Now, I don't know how much my time factory is going to be worth, uh, you know, if big time ever becomes this amazing MMORPG that takes over the entire world. I have no idea what that investment looks like. I have no idea what that exit looks like. But all I know is it is going to be significant. Right now, could it be life changing money at this point in time with my life? Probably not. Uh, but will it be a nice, sizable profit if that's what I'm looking to do? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Undisputed noobs with the golden words there. Bindim, everything dies. Enjoy the journey. And again, that's why I call it journey to the unique. It's not like, um, it's not, you know, I don't call this, I, I don't, oh, dude, why did I do that again? Anyway, it's not called like unique, hour, uh, it's not called like unique hourglass leaderboard, right? Um, I'm not interested in, uh, I'm interested in the result and I do want to get there. Uh, but I understand that there's competition and at the end of the day, anything could go, right? <laughs> Wimp saying, even if this captures 2% of OSRS user base, then it'll be a great experience. Absolutely. Guys, at the end of the day, it, it, okay, look, let's, let's think about it. So for those of you guys who are here to hold for two months, right? 
why are you guys worried about what happens uh, on the 20th? Sorry, I, I, I tend to be as much as a philosopher as I do a economist, right? So think about this. If you have big time tokens and you know you're not going to exit your big time tokens over the next three months or four months, what's the point in worrying about what's going to happen on the 20th? Will you worrying about what's happening on the 20th somehow affect the value or the outcome of what's going to happen on the 20th? Probably not, right? What will happen on the 20th is 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 undisputable, undeniable, uh, and you know, it, 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 token gonna token, right? Token gonna token. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, it depends what type of an investor you are, right? I'll repeat that again. I'm a long term, I'm a long term investor. I'm looking at three to four years, right? So what happens over the next one to three months, or even one to two years, is not really relevant to me. Right. What is relevant to me is I see progress and, you know, I've seen a lot of progress right now. The price of the token does not dictate uh, does not dictate progress. Right. Because there are so many factors that play into, uh, you know, why a token goes up and why a token goes down that. Oh, uh, one second, guys. Let, let's see what's wrong here. I think we've hung mama, daddy, mom, dad. I think we broke big time. Finally. All right, let me see if I can exit, escape back, escape back. Oh, it's already crafting, perfect. So, uh, you know, again, there are so many factors that play into big time that it's very, the big time token itself that it's very, very difficult um, to understand what's gonna happen, particularly over the next 12 months. Now, given that, uh, if anybody here said that they predicted the price of SLP or AXS, I mean, I mean then kudos to you, right? I don't think anybody understood or believed that the price of, of SLP or AXS was gonna to go to the point that it did, right? Um, and again, what I see from a lot of the narrative uh, within the big time general chat is that everyone is worried about the supply side and they're not even understanding that there is a potential demand side there uh, that might change the entire dynamic. The market is so unliquid for the token at the moment. I mean, relative to other things, it's so unliquid and, and it's so shallow at the moment that, you know, any given whale can make a change any given day, right? Savage Studio, I just didn't even bother playing. I played once. And sorry, I, I hate to shit on Axies because, again, I, I'm sure they have nice people within the community. But, you know, what irritates me about Axies uh, is that the game just wasn't fun. Right. At least for me, um, maybe it was fun for other people, but the game just wasn't fun. And to introduce Web3 gaming uh, as, you know, where play to earn was the front and foremost um, of the experience. You know, I had I had no interest in that. Right. Sorry, guys, we're just trying to make sure that we uh, close out here. Hold on one second. Let me press escape. Nope. We're gonna chill out here for a tiny bit and see if we and see if we if we get things followed up. But I know it's an unpopular decision. I know eventually Axie players move to other places. But I mean, lesson learned, dude. Right? Lesson learned. Ultimately, a game a game needs to be fun to play for a lot of people in order for the token and everything else to have staying power. If it doesn't have that, right? If it doesn't have that, you know, there's really no point in playing the game because play to earn. Eventually, someone's gonna crash the token and then everyone's gonna get fucked. Right? <laughs> All right, let's see. I think my, I believe my screen has frozen. So what does that mean for all of us? Hold on one second here. Uh, oh, no, there we go. Yep, 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 yep. I think my, 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 I think the server has finally decided to give up on me, right? The server has finally decided to give up on me. We did manage to do quite a lot of stuff in here, guys. I mean, Honestly, this is this is what my day looked like. Initially, I thought I was going to stream for an hour, chill out, and then have to head out. But so many of you guys were so nice to hop in that I decided, hey, why, why don't we why don't we go with the flow? Um, it, I, I hope you guys found this session to be chill. Um, but what we are going to do next is why don't we play some marbles? You guys ready to play with your balls? Hold on, let me let me return to the chatting page here. Yo yo yo, what's up? Can you guys see me? Copy in, copy in. Hold on one second. Uh, sorry, I'm just setting off one time warning that we'll uh, we will take a five minute break and then after that we will begin. Hold on one second, guys. 
All right. So while I am setting off the last time warden here, Oh no, uh, while I'm setting off the last time warden here, and you guys can't see it, right? Uh, because I'm using a separate, oh dude, it hung again. Yep, uh, no point in doing that. So what I will do is I'll probably do a little bit more of the maintenance off stream. Uh, but in the meanwhile, let me press escape so I can get out of the game. Uh, show me those balls, show me those balls. So why don't we do this? We have quite a number of people in chat. We have 113. Um, you know, I probably will play practice rounds uh, each time simply because we have new viewers and I do want them to be able to uh, play competently uh, or as competently as you possibly can. Uh, hold on one second. Let me just stop the game. There we go. Love that. So I want you guys to, be able to, guys to be able to play as competently as you can. So what we are going to do is we are still going to run one practice round. Uh, the only reward that you will receive for that practice round is the glory. Uh, and what I will do is I will definitely give you a shout out on screen uh, to the 113 viewers uh, who are in chat at this point in time. All right. So we are definitely going to do that. The second round is going to be for followers only. So if you are not following me at this point in time, make sure that you follow Follow me because I will turn follower only chat on and essential what's going to be happening is if you're not following you are not going to be able to play now the final round my beloved subscribers again thank you so much it helps me make this channel so much more fun with so many more assets that you guys can mess around with if you guys do look at your emojis I am I am uploading emojis every single day I currently have five emojis that are under review from twitch so all of you guys should have some twitch emojis animated emojis pretty damn soon um, <laughs> everyone with blue balls from two hours and 20 minutes of regular stream waiting for those waiting for these marvels to drop all right again guys give me five minutes break because i have been streaming for two hours and 20 minutes straight so i will take a five minute break before we do this all right um and then after that, I think before we begin the practice round, I'll just make sure I go through all of the disclaimers so that we can begin. So I am going to blast up the music. I am going to blast up the music here. And after that, I will put this on doggy break. Now, given that I am on doggy break, um, and hold on one second, let me just, uh, let me just make sure I have the, uh, let me just make sure I have the, uh, the doggy break. Um, yeah, all right. Let me just make sure I have the doggy break shots. Hold on one second, guys. So I will go on. I will go on break for five minutes. Give me some time to uh, lubricate my throat. Oh, sorry, that didn't come across well. Uh, let me let me give me some time to lubricate my throat, and then after that, we will go into the final stretch of the stream. And when Zhao can, no problem. If you are in the chat, it can be Chinese, no problem. So that's Chinese, guys. So basically, I think we have people from all over from all over the place. All right. Uh, hold on one second, guys. I am downloading the I am downloading the overlay uh, just so that because again, I think I messed up some of the uh, some of the layouts earlier today. Download. Sorry, guys. Give me two seconds here. So be right back. Thank you so much for the follow, honorable. So anyone who is looking to play, make sure that you are following because the test will also be, uh, the test will, ab will also absolutely be follower only. Hold on one second, guys. I'm almost there and then Daddy Whale Shark can take a tiny bit of a five minute break before we get on to the funnest part of the stream. One second, guys. Properties. Be right back. All right, we are gonna go for a five minute break. I will be right back, my friends.
All right, I'm back. Steve, did I beat the server? <laughs> I'm back, I'm back. And a bunch of people, I, I know that we had probably like another another seven people in just now. I thought they were going to join us from Marbles, uh, but maybe not, uh, which is great. I think I have the original viewers who've been sticking with me through thick and thin as we managed our factory. So, all right, so we are going to start the marble segment of this right now. What we are going to do is we are going to play three rounds of marbles. The very first round is a test run for people who have not played before. <laughs> uh, Steve is still in line. Oh, dear. All right, we're going to play three rounds of marbles. The very first round is going to be practice only. So again, Daddy Wilshark says there are no rewards for the very first round. The second round is going to be followers. So that is anybody and everybody who has followed this account. So if you have not followed this account yet and you want to get a chance to win a common hourglass, make sure that you follow right now because if not, you are not going to be able to participate. The third round is going to be my beloved and honorable subscribers only. So if you feel that this content has been a lot of fun, you enjoy just chilling out you know, with a bunch of old people playing Web3 games, uh, feel free to subscribe Again, I'm fortunate enough to be in a situation where it's never about the money um, and it's mainly about being able to grow the channel to the best of my ability, right? There are some things you cannot buy with money and part of those are pertaining to the Twitch functionalities, all right? So I really do appreciate that. I do appreciate all of the people that followed during the stream and here comes the disclaimer. I will only repeat this once, right? Because the information is in my about screen. Uh, the first thing is that I am not operating in the United States. States. I am operating outside of the United States and all of my actions and activities on stream are governed by the requisite uh, laws and regulations of the country of jurisdiction that I am residing in. Guys, pretty amazing. I'm not even reading off the screen, by the way. Uh, I've said this so many times. Uh, the second thing is that this promotion, this giveaway, has absolutely nothing to do with Twitch as a company, has nothing to do with open loot, has nothing to do uh, with uh, Big Time or Big Time Studios. All prizes, all activities on this stream have been sponsored, have been created, and are to be given uh, directly by yours truly. All right? So we will run. John BS, thank you so much for the sub, my friend. You are very appreciated. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the community. Welcome to Marbles. All right. <laughs> it's fantastic getting that last disclaimer down verbatim. Dude, I mean, okay. So while I only started streaming five days ago, I guess... You know, again, and, and, and I, I don't know if it's good or if it's not, but I, I managed to spend a lot of time speaking as an introvert uh, in Twitter spaces, in Clubhouse, right? Uh, which is why probably I'm also able to chat, you know, for two hours, uh, for a two hour marathon, uh, really without, with, with minimum amount of silence, right? I went through the gauntlet of fire that was uh, Clubhouse and Twitter, and Twitter spaces. And there was a point in time where I was doing probably about five media interviews a day. Uh, so really, I was talking for about 12 to 14 hours a day uh, back during the NFT bull run. So, uh, you know, everything, ha everything happens for a reason. Uh, and apparently it was so that I could take my enhanced in human vocal cords uh, into Twitch. <laughs> right. All right, guys. So I am going to switch to the marble screen as we speak. And we are going to do a practice round. So this practice round, Daddy Wellshark says again, there are no rewards for this practice round. It is for people who are playing marbles for their initial times to be able to understand how they're going to do it. Now, given that, uh, I would like to ask everybody in chat who wants to participate, uh, you guys need to type when I start. Hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna start. So one second. So when I start, you guys are gonna type in exclamation point play into the chat and then press in enter, all right? Uh, let's pick something that's relatively, Eye of the Storm? Why don't we go Eye of the Storm? Uh, we had a lot of people yesterday. I think we have 110 today, so I'm gonna put here 200, all right? No prizes for the first round, guys. A prize, the prize is basically going to be the, un, uh, the common hourglass NFT that will be sent for the second and the third round. No prizes for this round. All right. Show your balls. Play with my balls. Pump my balls. Uh, let's get this. Let's get. Let's get this party started. So we're gonna race. Don't worry. I will not start it off yet. Everybody who wants to play now can type exclamation point play. John BS in Gizmo TV in. 
Let's see. There we go. Let's go. Princeton Max, thank you so much for the sub, my friend. We are coming. We are going. Sorry, we're not coming. Uh, we are going to start pretty soon. All right. Okay, so maybe maybe some people are saving their uh, special weapon. Are they? Are, are you guys saving your special weapon uh, for the uh, for the for, for when it actually comes? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, looks like a couple of people wanna wanna get some practice here. Oh, dude, I'm honored. You know, as a streamer, usually you're worried that the majority of people who are watching your stream um, are mainly just watching it for free shit. But I am honored, dude. Given the number of viewers that we have on stream, and given the fact that I have not said this to all followers, and we're still not reaching, uh, we're not, we're still not even reaching uh, the point of 110. I am absolutely honored. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for following on with us. Thank you, everybody, for playing with us. Uh, again, this is uh, one of my favorite parts of the stream as well, uh, where I get to give free shit away. All right. So let's uh, let's let's give everybody who wants to play a chance to play. Um, we'll give them probably another 30 seconds before I start. So once I start, it's 30 seconds. Uh, then we'll have 20 second countdown. Uh, and then after that, we'll click the start button. I will not chat during the play. Uh, occasionally, I will give my odd and uh, uncomfortable commentary um, as you guys are racing down these marbles. Um, but usually, I will not chat and I'll blast up the music so that you guys can enjoy. Again, I will usually shift camera between the first 10 places. Uh, I do apologize. I know some of you guys want to see the total screen. And let's see how I do that. Hold on, let me press escape. All right, guys, how do I see the total map? So I can see here, I can see view first, view second, uh, view third, fourth, fifth, all the way to 10th. Uh, anybody, any experts in marbles who tell me how I can zoom out all the way to the, all the way to the, all the way to the top map? <coughs> All right, we got 59 players. We are gonna start off this practice round. Daddy says, no rewards for this round. This again is going to be a practice round only. Practice round only. Next round will be a followers round and the round after that is going to be subscribers only. So if you want to play for reels, if you wanna play for reels and you wanna earn a common hourglass, you guys do need to follow right now. And then after that in the subscriber round again if you've appreciate if you've enjoyed the content if you've enjoyed hanging out with me help me make this channel bigger help me make this channel better by hitting that subscribe button and we can do some fun stuff moving forward all right so we're going to click start now and we have a 20 second countdown incoming very soon guys good luck good luck to all of y'all balls uh let's get this party started Triple Gary with the early lead, my friend, go, go, go. Slurpy Warden, Sub Cyber Devil, I love John BS, Nightmare, Gushy 2031. I love seeing all these familiar names because you guys are chatting on that stream, making this a wonderful experience for everybody. Our very first casualties, Triple Gary maintaining that lead. Why do I sound like a strip club DJ? I do not know. And there we go, Triple Gary with the win. 
Triple Gary with the win here, coming in. Will D Shark, your strip club DJ, <laughs> apparently announcing marbles now. Uh, Triple Gary, triple props uh, to an amazing win. You are ahead of the pack all the way. I'm gonna lower this volume a tiny bit uh, before we decide to move on to the main event. All right. Okay, guys, so basically what we have is we have Triple Gary in first, The Rude Boy at second, Japs Gaming at third, Konnichiwa, uh, Archie55 at fourth, Undisputed Noobs, Steve Woody, Undisputed Challenger for Marbles at number five, CyberDevil009, How You Doing Bro at six, Skin314 at seventh, Lucas15 at eighth, Mokarazi, uh, sorry, Mokarazi at ninth, and Bil Balio, uh, sorry, Balio Pokamida at... 10th, I believe. Balo, dude, how are you doing, my friend? Wonderful to see you here again. <laughs> how do you know what a strip club DJ sounds like? I don't know. Uh, it, it, it's just my initial impression in terms of what sounds like. Shh. All right. Okay, guys. All right. All right. All right. Uh, guys, is the stream lagging? I just want to make sure. Is the stream lagging? Oh, hold on one sec. Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, am I, is, is it lagging? Sorry, I do see that my avatar is jerking around quite a bit. So what I might do, guys, so what I might do is it could be the internet. It could be an internet, it could be the internet. Um, hold on one second. Uh, guys, so just, um, oh wow. All right, it could actually be the internet. Uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay, so can you guys hear me now? Is there still a, is there still a lag in my avatar, or is there a lag in my um, or is there a lag in my voice? Okay, good, 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 good. Thank God that didn't happen during the followers only. I would I would have hated that. So sorry, guys. Uh, one of the things is that I do live in a country whereby, although we have very fast internet speed, uh, even if there's a tiny bit of rain, sometimes it can uh, affect the uh, the main telecom wires. Sometimes it can affect the main telecom wires. Yes, uh, might have to get that Starlink. Um, but, you know, don't worry. Uh, I think we're back to normal now. I do apologize for that. And uh, uh, let's, luckily that did not happen during the, follower, during the follower stream where everything is going to be distributed. Um, just, doing, just doing a test again. Um, one second. Let me just make sure, let me test my internet connection. Uh, just to make sure that everything is running smooth. Hold on, guys, give me one minute. It seems that like my internet connection has come back, right? So I think you guys should be able to see everything. Oh, it's starting to get a little bit jerky here. Hold on. I do apologize, guys. I think maybe the bandwidth. Uh, hold on. Can you guys hear me okay? 
Dude, usually I'm at like 400 megabytes per second, man. Usually I'm at like 400 megabytes per second. I got like 1G. I got like 1G set up. I got 1G set up over here. Can you guys hear me? Uh, let's test this. Uh, pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle. Test, test, testicle. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Tiny bit of a lag. All right, I am going to run this regardless, uh, regardless of the lag. I do apologize. Again, this is a little bit out of my, out of my control. Uh, the reason why I have to stream from the office and not home is also because of this, right? So the frame is gonna stutter a bit. Um, what I will try to make sure that I do is, so the first thing, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close off my, you know, again, I, I hope this isn't the case, but it could be because I'm loading my VTuber software at the same time. So in order to make sure that you guys have a better experience, what I will do is I am gonna close off the whale shark. So say goodbye to whale daddy shark. I'm gonna, I am gonna close off the avatar. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm closing off the avatar. Uh, and then after that, what I will do is I will make sure, let me see what else I can close out over here. Uh, I can't close out uh, the Twitter, all right. Good, how, does, how is this working? Will Daddy Sharp, test test testicle? Yes, 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 uh, What up, Game Master? <laughs> all right, uh, how's this working? Is this, uh, the only thing about this is that I cannot see the load um, simply because, uh, I can no longer see my I can no longer see my avatar moving. Are you guys able to hear me? Okay, good, good, good. Uh, is there still lag on the screen uh, from what you guys are looking at? <laughs> ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testicle. Whoa, sorry, I kind of fucked that up. Ice, ice, icicle, pop, pop, popsicle, test, test, testicle. Are you guys ready for some marbles? <laughs> marbles. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do here. This is what we're gonna do here. We are moving to follower chat only, right? Uh, as long as you follow uh, now, uh, essentially you are gonna be able to. You are gonna be able to. You are gonna be able to play. So if you're not following me, please follow right now. It is a follower, uh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, dude, it's a follower only game at right now. So basically, this is the way that we're going to do it. Einer, June, Einer JSR, what's up, bro? So it is followers only. If you find that you cannot play, it's because you're not following me yet. Uh, make sure you drop that, you hit that follow button. And then after that, the prize for this is going to be one common hourglass. I do not know how many people we are gonna have to play. It seems like we have 125 viewers. So I will set up marbles for at least 150, all right? Um, Guys, understand that Marbles is also taking up my full screen. Uh, and then after that, we'll talk about how we're going to distribute the prizes immediately following the race. So if you see that all of a sudden I've frozen, please feel free to make sure that you spam me in chat. Uh, Zorro uh, or Nightmare, if you see that I've frozen, uh, would be appreciated if you guys can message me or DM me in my signal, all right? All right, so we are going to start very soon. Let's pick something interesting. Uh, Rusty Remnant uh, sounds like a good way to go, and we are gonna go with 200 viewers. Again, this is a followers only play. So essentially once I begin, and I'll begin now so you guys can start typing in the exclamation point play. Um, if you type in exclamation, play, <laughs> exclamation point play, you guys are gonna be loaded into the marble map. Um, and then after that, we can begin.
Guys, regardless if I am lagging or not, the marble game will continue. So rest assured that people who win will be announced and I will give you specific instructions to reach out to my mods to be able to claim your NFT. I do apologize for the internet. Again, it, it, it really is out of my control and hopefully it'll improve by the end of today when I plan to stream again. Now, given that if I do not stream tonight, uh, just be aware it is because, uh, again, my internet might not have been in an ideal situation. Followers only, followers only, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna give our we're gonna give our followers a little bit of time to get into the uh, to get into the to get into the into the ball arena, um, guys. Pop your balls. I hope you guys do well. Uh, and then after that, I will let you guys know when we decide to do um, a twenty minutes uh, twenty minute uh, sorry a twenty second countdown. Steve, thank you so much for the update, my friend. I, I, I will probably hop in post-stream and start to manage up all of the new assets inside there. Again, I love how they, they spend so much effort and time trying to make this a wonderful gaming experience, uh, even though it's still pre-alpha. We still have quite a number of people coming in. I don't want them to be counted out simply because I'm lagging a tiny bit. But given that it looks like everybody who wants to play is in, we have 74 people out of the 127 viewers. We are gonna start the 20 second countdown. Chat, can you give me a heads up in terms of you can hear me? All right, I, I can see chat running through, so I assume you guys can hear me. Uh, I am gonna click the start and we will run the 20 second countdown right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I have a lag of about five seconds versus you guys, so I do apologize, but let's go, let's go, let's go. Skin 314, Nerd Logic, the fight for number one is absolutely fucking insane. Nightmare RIP, RIP, my friend. That is absolutely insane. We got Cap John Parakeet with the vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> Unfortunately, maybe that Nissan isn't even gonna help the captain. Gui Mateus, uh, Gui Mateus in the lead with Crit TV and Triple Gary hot on his tails.
It looks like a runaway victory for Crit TV. Can anybody come in and stop him? Gui Matei is caught on the tail of Crit TV, but it looks like Crit TV might have this in the bag. I spoke way too early. We have a bunch of people coming in. Skin 314 and Triple Gary coming in fourth and fifth. Congratulations to An Wan Zhao who pulled off a last minute overreach over Gui Mateus. Gong Si, Gong Si, wow! What an amazing battle we had there. Guys, I did not even see that coming. Uh, just to make sure that we have a check on this, can you guys hear me all right? Unbelievable, unbelievable! What an amazing fit! What an just what an amazing finish by An Wan Zhao! You guys are going to have to listen to me as I as I speak in a tiny bit of Chinese, and I give An Wan Zhao the instructions um, in terms of how to claim his free common hourglass. So, An Wan Zhao, 恭喜你，你是第一个讲华语的一个玩手，就赢了一个 common 的一个 hourglass。然后呢，呃，这一个 stream 结束之后。呃，就希望好像你可以跟我的 moderator 好像去沟通一下，好像他的名字叫 Zoro Z O R R O， 呃，然后你可以去发一个 DM， 发一个 whisper 给他，提供一下你的 e v 地址，然后我大概在四十八个小时之内会把那个 hourglass 发过去给你，好不好？恭喜恭喜恭喜 ！Congratulations， 呃、uh, ，moving from a English 呃、uh, strip club DJ to a Chinese strip club DJ。Um, <laughs> Edwin Zhao, congratulations, congratulations. Uh, I just released, um, uh, you know, how you can actually get that, uh, get that hourglass. Uh, please re make sure that you reach out to Zorro, Z-O-R-R-O. Uh, congratulations again, my friend. Congratulations. All right. <laughs> Oh, he's Brazilian. Sorry about that. I thought Zhao. Zhao sounds Chinese. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Oh wait, one second here. Let me let me let me let me do this. Hold on one second. Google Translator. Uh, hold on, guys. One second. Uh, all right, guys. So. Is Brazilian. Uh, all right, guys. So we're gonna try. I mean, I never, I never picked this up. But por favor, enviam susuro para o zoro com su endereco e parabéns. Guys, did, did 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 that make any sense? Did that make any sense? <laughs> did that make any sense? Do you want me to do that again? <laughs> did that make any sense? I'm gonna copy and paste that. I'm gonna co I'm gonna co I'm gonna copy and paste that. Hold on one second here. Uh, one second. There you go. There you go. International community. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Ob obrigada. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm sure the stream is like splitting up right now and, and just saying, wow, what the hell? Por favor. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, guys, so I, I, I attempted, I attempted, I attempted to try speak uh, some Portuguese on stream, uh, again, courtesy of Google Translate. Um, hopefully that made a little bit of sense, uh, but again, uh, and one Zhao, congratulations. Please make sure that you do message uh, Zorro and make sure that you do, or you are able to claim that prize. I will send it to you within 48 hours. <laughs> ja, 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 ja. Oh, I absolutely love that. You know, when I hang out with my with my Argentinian friends and we are um, we are uh, we are uh, just chatting. I, you know, I always use a ja, 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 ja. 
All right, guys. So we are at the final segment. We are at the final segment um, of the show. The final segment of the show is that we are going to be doing a subscriber only, a subscriber only race for all subs of the Whale D Shark channel. So what I am going to do is I am going to turn followers off first because I don't want to forget doing that. So everybody can chat. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to we're going to limit it to subscribe subscribers only. If you cannot chat in group, rest assured, don't worry. Uh, we're just turning this on so that we can make this a subscriber only marble run. All right. Again, reiterating, I operate outside of the United States and I am governed by the laws and regulations of the countries that I am residing in. And I do apologize, guys. There's like a five to 10 second lag on my stream today for some reason, right? Uh, it could be my computer, it could be the internet. I will make sure that I reboot uh, and I make sure that everything is working fine as we're moving forward. All right, okay, okay. Let me turn on stream manager on my, on my third screen. <laughs> Can you scam some Japanese, please? Oh, all right, okay. Uh, <laughs> it just it just got hot in here oh look at look at you lovely 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 subs so i guess one of the benefits that you have as a subscriber uh is that you have a uh i guess you have a limited race pool right uh the prize is exactly the same it is one common hourglass right it is one common hourglass um and you know when we run this essentially subscribers are going to be able to win one common hourglass again we're doing this right now i'm a little bit worried about my internet connection for tonight, which is why I did this. Um, but it should be a lot of fun. So why don't we do this? Uh, I love everything with madness in it, but I think the other two are a little bit short. Uh, why don't we do Marble Centauri? I think that looks like a lot of fun. The average finish is three minutes and 21 seconds. It will be a good way to bang off the stream. All right. So I'm going to click on race here. <laughs> So I do have a lag. I do have a lag. I just got a warning from my OBS equivalent, but we're going to try this all the same. Uh, let's go for this. All right, guys. So in chat, if you guys want to play, this is subscribers only. So if you want to play, you do have to be a sub. Uh, again, I thank all of the subscribers for making this dream possible of sharing fun time with all of you guys. Um, I can see you guys slowly filtering in here. Don't worry. I will give you a minute so that you guys can play, so that you guys can play. All right. Um, so, wow. <laughs> I think we have an issue. Hold on one second. Can you guys hear me all right? I have a little bit of a lag happening on here, so I am going to give you guys an ample amount of time to get in. All right? Don't worry about it. guys okay 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 i think everybody who did want to come in most likely is coming in we have a total of 34 subscribers racing for that golden prize oh we still have we still have subscribers coming in i do want to make sure that i give you guys at least a minute right i do want to make sure that i'm giving you guys at least a minute to come in um but subscribers only deb forster was the last that i see on chat uh grevenator coming in um, I do want to make sure that all of you guys do have the ample opportunity to play. We'll give it another 30 seconds before a 20 second countdown. Good luck everyone, good luck to your balls. This strip club DJ saying go, go, go. Next up on stage, we have Nightmare 35. <laughs> Shake that booty, bro. 
All right, so we are gonna do the 20 second countdown now. I do think that the lag let up a tiny bit. I'm gonna click on start and we will have this 20 second countdown. All subscribers, race starts in 17 seconds. You still have the ability to type exclamation point play in chat. Whale mods, I know you guys are all up on stage. Shake that booty. And we got D Last King in the first position with the pineapple protagonist sporting some ball drip. <laughs> sporting some ball drip uh, coming in with his pineapple pizza in number two, with Zaro in a number three. Oh, no, no, this is not even. This is. Dude, we got people that are far ahead. Oh no, we were absolutely correct. So we do have D-Last King making the run, making the break for the finishing line. Uh, Nightmare, I'm not sure if that ball drip is working for you, uh, but it li looks like you uh, need to air out those balls a bit. They look to be on fire. And we got Zoro Whale, who is actually leading the charge here. Whale mod, could this be the very first whale member's win? Mods are people, Zoro. I am definitely forcing uh, that hourglass on you if you do win. And sorry, I spoke too soon. We had D Last King with the breakaway and the pineapple protagonist catching up with the second, with the first place. It is neck to neck, neck to neck, balls on fire. Can D Last King pull off a last minute? No, no, it looks like Askidium is coming in first. We don't have much runway to go. We know that this is gonna go down really well. We, oh, and D Last King choking uh, on his ball. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but we have S. Acid to Demon with Nightmare 35, the pineapple protagonist, and Nightmare has choked, 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 choked. All right, here we go. Racing through, racing through. GG, Lyarconet. Sorry, we have some of our first casualties. And we have our very first winner. Very first winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations to Asidimumun uh, for winning uh, the subscriber-only race that we have here on Marbles today. That was an epic showing. Pineapple protagonist, I'm so sorry. You had it there, but your balls were a little bit too hot. Uh, we got A-Town Gaming coming in second. Grevin are coming in fourth and I'm gonna give a shout out to everyone in the top 10 places we got Game Master in fifth, Skin314 in sixth, Gizmo TV in seventh, Ohm coming in eighth, Japs Gaming uh, a regular on this leaderboard coming in ninth and Karaje01 coming in tenth GG 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 my friends that was freaking amazing absolutely love always taking this stream and and then after that, you know, again, making sure we blow it up towards the end, hopefully giving a lot of you guys a very good night's sleep while also give, wishing everybody a wonderful day moving ahead.
Nightmare, I'm sorry, dude. Your balls were just too hot there. <laughs> you might need to air them out a little bit. Maybe get one of those folding fans. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. It's always, again, my pleasure to see all of you guys win. Now, for the winners that we have today, so An Wanan Zhao, or An Wan Zhao, uh, as well as Asidu Demon, uh, make sure that you guys uh, whisper to Zoro, who is my head of infrastructure over at Whale Members. Uh, and what you will be able to do is you're able to provide him your email address and I will send uh, I will send you guys the common uh, the common hourglasses uh, through, through to your ETH address within the next 48 hours. Undisputed, dude, thank you so much for spending so much time. I know that it's very, very late for you. Um, and again, as always, I really appreciate your company. Um, it's been a lot of fun. So guys, this has been a three-hour stream. Again, I expected it to be one hour. Uh, I'm so glad that so many people decided to drop in and have fun with me. Uh, I might or might not stream later tonight, uh, given that we stream for so long and given that it seems that I have been having trouble uh, with my internet connection. Uh, but hold on one second. Before we do that, I'm going to move to the... <laughs> I, I don't think there's a. I don't think there's a. There's a purpose to moving to the chatting screen, given that I turned off my VTube. Um, but yeah, might or might not stream later today. If you do want to know when I stream, feel free to follow the Whale Members Twitter, uh, that is listed in the about me below, uh, and those are all managed by my moderators. Um, in addition to that, the other thing that you can do is just check my schedule when you get up. Uh, you know, in a worst case scenario, I'll put up schedules one hour beforehand, but usually I do plan about 24 hours beforehand. It's been absolutely wonderful, right? It's been absolutely wonderful hanging out with you guys. I wanted a low-key, lo-fi chill session. I absolutely got that. Thank you guys for sticking with me. It's been three long hours, right, uh, of going through my metaverse of... Uh, you know, just talking, uh, as Singaporeans will say, talk hock sing song, right? So we've been, we've been hanging out for quite a while. Uh, and then after that, you know, again, finishing this off with a blast, uh, allowing you guys to blast your balls uh, <clears throat> through the epic, through the epic uh, metaverse that is marbles, right? Take care, everybody. For those who are about to head to sleep, have a very good night. You're very appreciated. For those of you guys who are starting your day, I wish you guys the very best. Uh, and I do hope that you guys keep that big smile on your faces throughout the day. I'll talk to you guys soon. This has been Will D Shark. And ending off, I believe, episode five of Journey to the Unique. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Sorry guys, I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. I am going to go back into chatting even though you guys can't see me. Sorry, I still see that we have 140 people on here. So I, as usually, I lean back in my chair and I watch chat as we fade off, but we absolutely have the opportunity to raid. I do apologize. The reason why I didn't do so is because I'm, so, I'm not used to having so many people in channel. Let's raid a channel, my friends. Let's raid one of the OGs. Let's see who is up. Uh, we will definitely, we'll take our turns in raiding, but one of the people that I really wanted to raid is Jay Cluster, right? So absolute godfather, big time. We are going to start this raid immediately starting now. Thank you so much for staying, by the way. It's much appreciated. And Steve, thank you so much for reminding me. Sorry, I'm just not used to having so many people. Let's go in. We're going to raid right now.